White women that. Uh. 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 EOS intro. Drinks through 10. What is up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing today? Don't 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 work as a DJ there, please. Don't I can't that. be a DJ. No, you're you're a can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're the hype man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to WBG Xbox Pock. Yes, I was about to spit some bars. You want to hear some? Thank uh welcome to WBG. Xbox Podcast episode 193. Listen, y'all, we got some stuff to talk about. Some stuff happened after WBG last week that I really, we really want to talk about. I know you guys listen to Dark Man. I know you guys listen to TTS. But this is WBG, baby. We're going to talk about Starfield. We're going to talk about Spider-Man 2. We're talk about the bugs. Talk about the great sales of Spider-Man 2, right? Right? Don't call me DJ Darkness, you POS. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. How is everybody doing today? What's up to the people in the chat? What's up, Rashina? What's up, everybody in the chat? Anthony Chipmunk, a fan. Terrell Smile, what is up, y'all? Spider Bug. <laughs> Sean, what's up with you, bro? Hey, what's going on, killer? Hey, man, listen, I'm feeling good. Xbox announced another showcase. We're going to talk mm, about mm, that shortly. Mm, another mm, mm, showcase, Sean. How do you feel about that? I don't know. We'll talk about that in a few. Oh, we feel great, but listen, it's WBG Monday. Everybody hit that like button and let's talk that shit. Let's go. Let's go. My homeboy, Joey Kraken. Joey Kraken. I, I, I'm sorry. Phantom Kraken. Yes, I am nine subs away from 12K, y'all. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ooh. That's organic Ooh. growth. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's organic growth. <laughs> Thank you guys for the support, Joy. What's up with you, bro? Not much, man. I'm I'm glad for you, man. You're so close for 12k. Congratulations! So hopefully, you could get to man. that today in a few minutes or hours, maybe. Uh, but, I can't believe uh, it, Joy. Man. Other than that, watching these bugs. I don't know. We need bug spray, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. Uh, the homie Devin, what's up what's with you, good? man? What's good, dirt man? I just looking at Twitter, and this shit's hilarious. Like every week, uh, Xbox announcing more games and stuff. We got showcases, we got all type of stuff to talk about. I'm ready to talk that shit, dirt. Oh man, crazy, right? Last but not least, the homie RB. What's up, man? How you doing? Sure, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I came in during the intro. You didn't even know. Yeah. And, and she didn't even know it, huh? Mm. Sorry. I'm doing amazing. <laughs> it is a beautiful Monday. I'm enjoying this new IP off of Xbox called Call of Duty. They got a real cool event going on right now. We've got the haunting. I'm ready to TTS talk that shit and hit that mother effing like button. Let's mm. go. Let's go. The homie RB telling people how he feels thank you so much we're gonna have a fun show guys uh let me get these super chats before we start lord star killer 
gifted five more memberships. Man, these guys are awesome, Woo. bro. Thank you, Lord Star Killer. And he also dropped a comment. And first of all, he's a member for 25 months. He says, so some ponies moving the goalposts again, trying to say that Spider-Man 2 only has minor bugs. What the F? So that means that Starfield should have been rated 90 to 93. Absolutely, Lux. bro. Listen, man, when you have streamers that's literally streaming and bugs is happening, multiple streamers, come on, bro. Stop it. Some guys still, no, no, it's, no. <laughs> that's like, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But I saw somebody on Twitter say, well, I haven't experienced any bugs. I'm like, listen, brother, if you in court and the evidence is overwhelming, but the judge say, well, you know, I didn't see him kill nobody. No, that ain't going to happen, you piece of shit. There's evidence. Everybody, see, there's so much evidence out there for you to say, well, I haven't seen any bugs. That don't mean there's no bugs, you piece of trash. That doesn't mean you haven't seen any, but the evidence is everywhere. So don't even go there. I can't stand these guys. Why so serious? Member for six months. What's up, guys? So this secret showcase these ponies been hyping up is actually it for Xbox. It's funny <laughs> how that happens, right? Why so serious? <laughs> Adidas 20 zero with the 20. Thank you, brother. A kind of funny guy. Mad I call him a pony. Like him. He has crispy takes when bots defending Xbox. Pony Rose Starfield. He is quiet but, but hurt about Spider-Man. Bad apples in the batch. At a rotten <laughs> in the bag, pairings in the bag. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I saw Sean Boy out there wilding, man. He's, he's talking about two, three boys in that. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, he was. <laughs> Look actually, at it, Look, the last one as well. Bro, yeah, which uh, one? Which guys? Ooh. It's all right, you gotta be up to date, Joy. Yeah, Joy. And work. <laughs> uh, Lord Star Killer with the five. Congrats to Starfield for being the number one selling game in September and the number seven selling game of 2023. Amazing for a game that had been out one month. Baldur's Gate 3, not top 20. Yeah. <laughs> on the PlayStation, yeah. <laughs> on the PlayStation, yeah. Jax82 with the two. Her, I heard the intro with our dirt by the spit some bars. <laughs> yeah, I was. But then I realized I'm trash at rapping. Lord Starkiller, another 10 memberships. Yo, fire, Salute. bro. Thank you, man. Salute to you, man. Appreciate you. Robert Jr. Wow. with two. Subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you, Rob Jr. Uh, AJ15, the super sticker. Is this the AJ I know personally? Might be. No, this, I don't know. This, this is his uh, first super child. Well, a shout out to him. Hey, boy. Oh, well, well, thank you for the super sticker. I don't know if that's the AJ that I know in real life. Uh, Panic is boss with the five. Xbox probably won't buy EA, but it would be funny if Xbox owned the trifecta of shooters, COD, Halo, and Battlefield. Yeah, uh, they well, you know, you can take that Battlefield out and put Doom in there, because they definitely own that. <laughs> they definitely own that. Yeah, I saw a Fatanga Bug video, man. He, yeah, bro. I mean, well, listen, you can't... Oh, hey, what's up, AJ? What's, hey, what's, hey, what's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, Kizza with the five. Spider-Man sales record 2.5 million in the first 24 hours. Starfield will will be at 10 million players at launch. Hold my beer. <laughs> now you know, you know it, it's selling well, man. I can't hate on it, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate everything you do. Appreciate all of the members. But let's go ahead and get to the show, man. Let's go ahead and get to the show because. Xbox uh, had a nice announcement today. Let me do my timestamps. Nine minutes on the dot. Squiggly, remember for nine months, the Starfield sales figures don't count the Game Pass upgrades. It didn't? Damn. No, it didn't, apparently. Oh. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty it, good. It does. Uh, What's with the camera? What camera? I don't well, see I'm on camera. Yeah, that's not true. I see darkness. I see. Come on, man! Don't go there, man. Go, look on there, man. Because I don't know why I'm on camera. But you, why not, Sean? I like the look of the show last week. We was on camera. I Sean. know, but you know, preparation to uh, for me to get that shit ready. Yeah, I haven't shaved. I haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in bed. Relax Gotta go to the barber shop. <laughs> I'm in bed. Oh, oh sorry, it's okay. You don't have to be on camera. It's just me. It's just me. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, I got to change the timestamp, you POSs. The 10 minutes. 
Xbox. Xbox announced today. Let me share my screen that they are going to have a. Hold on. A partner preview. So let's talk about it. Tune in to the Xbox Partner Preview streaming October 25th, which is, of course, Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 p.m. my time, which is 6 p.m. Sean time. Are you going to stream it, Sean? Yeah, I normally do TTMS, so um, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 we'll do it, we'll do it, yeah. For updates on partner games like Alan Wake 2, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, Ark Survival Ascended, Dungeons of Hinterberg, and more. So, I'm not expecting this to be a huge show. They're pretty much being transparent about what they're going to show, which I love it. But I want to say this because I put out a tweet right before the show. And I'm not trying to start no shit, guys. I, it's just certain things that piss me off. Then, you know, when things come back, I talk about it. That's all it is. So I put out a tweet right before the show. Let me share my screen. When I was talking about last December, last December, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, was talking shit because Xbox did not show up at the VGAs. Yes, Phil Spencer was physically there, but you know, they didn't have any presence as far as games being showed. And a lot of people was pissed. And when I say people, I'm talking about some Xbox homies that I'm actually kind of cool with some of them. Some of those guys were mad. This is some BS. This is unacceptable. They should have been there at the VGAs. And I was thinking, listen, would I have life for them to be there? Of course. But they were not obligated to be at the VGAs. This was not an Xbox game showcase. So I thought people... It's okay to criticize it or say you didn't want them not to be there. But at the same time, people was going crazy over it. I know we remember. I know the guys on the panel remember because we was talking about it. Mm. But then were- 2023, in January, the Xbox Developer Direct. June, obviously, the Xbox Game Showcase. August, they was at Gamescom. TGS, they was at the Tokyo Game Show in September. Now they have another show this upcoming Wednesday. So that's five shows. That's five shows this year. There's some type of presence throughout the year. Now, people making fun of PlayStation, including myself. It's mostly about PlayStation fanboys because I know you guys remember when we heard PlayStation fanboys say, oh, yeah, they're going to have a secret showcase in October. Where your secret showcase, you piece of shit? It's in November now. Now it's going to be in November. Then it's going to be December. No, let's be honest. Phil Spencer said they have so much content in development that they're going to be able to do several shows throughout the year. Even though this show is a partner showcase, they're still nice enough to put on a show. I know PlayStation have their occasional stated plays, which are cool. Um, But this is going to show you that the bitching and complaining that happened last December Look at yourselves. By the fair weather Xbox fans, nonetheless. <laughs> Fact. So what are you guys thinking? Um, first of all, Alan Wake 2, I mentioned this earlier in a tweet. Alan Wake 2 was shown off at PlayStation Showcase. So I was automatically assuming that PlayStation had the marketing, but obviously not. Um, because if they had the marketing, Xbox couldn't really show it show off at the show. Right. Um, so maybe they just debuted the show uh, like Island Way 2 at the PlayStation Showcase. But I'm looking forward to it because the game comes out this Friday. I got to buy it. I ain't pre-ordered that shit yet. Um, <laughs> it comes out this Friday. So mm-hmm. let me get these super chats and I go to you guys to see what you guys thinking. New York Giants, man, with the 20. Dutch panel. It feels like we are in the pony zone. It's crazy how pathetic <laughs> critic <laughs> rate <laughs> Cyberman 2 so high with all the bugs but kill Starfield. Do that no by now. Microsoft is now the ass up to kiss. Oh, you said Microsoft the ass to kiss. Okay, brother. Uh, he, he said, but pathetic critic rate Cyberman too. So high. Listen, <laughs> uh, you know, like Metacritic, fair to them. I mean, it's not them. They just take a concoction of everybody's reviews. It's to and me, it's to me good uh, average. Yeah. Yeah, and it is average of people's reviews. So I'm not going to blame them. But it's weird how we're what we're seeing nowadays because I always tell you guys I was never the media bias guy. But, bro, some things now, 
I guarantee Starfield would have got a high 80s, low 90s if it was still a multi-plat. I guarantee it. War Rebel with the five. You guys are haters. Sony Booty Cheese game is going to win game of the year with this uh, advanced jiggle physics. <laughs> <laughs> Stone King X with the 10. Sony made fools wait a month and a half to redeem Marvel Spider-Man 2 code that came with the PS5 bundle on 9-1-23. So they could announce 2.5 million sold in 24 hours. Mm. I didn't even think about that. Mm. Damn. They're Good not shit, bro. slick. Lone Little Black Mamba, member for eight months. Big Starfield is outside, King Dave. Y'all thought they needed PlayStation to sell. You thought you was going to cry enough to get it on PlayStation. Psych. Yo, shout out to King Dave. You talking that shit, bro. Dwayne Calavito with the five. I'm hearing the Xbox is partnering up with Nintendo. Eh, just a, nah, I don't really hear that. I, I thought heard they already that, were. That they said, you know, like the Nintendo CEO said that we are partners, but I don't think that means anything specific. They're just cool. You know, they're putting Call of Duty on the next Nintendo Switch. So PK Thunder Roll with the five. Can we confirm the PS5 install base is inflated? Isn't Spider-Man 2 a major franchise? That is true. It's casual was by the PS5, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. That's a good thing. I'm sure Xbox One casuals to buy their console too. But at the same time, it's about the games. And you know, 2.5 is pretty good. We'll talk about it later. Alvin with the two blitz kind of two weeks, another Xbox show. That's right. Hot, hot damn. <laughs> <laughs> right. John TJ the five. Hi guys. It's time to go buy gear gearbox, certain oh, infinity, shit. and all the studios they work with. Bugman 2 is quality, right? LOL Xbox needs more quality, right? TTS Gearbox. Plus. Hell no, nah, John TJ. Gearbox. They ain't got nothing. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, what's the name of that? Borderland. Dota Knight with the five. Pony Box will find something to cry and whine about during the upcoming Xbox showcase to appease these ponies. Always. Always. Yeah, They're going to find yeah, something. Yeah, in line. Yep. Mandingo, what's up, bro? With the five. It's only the from for the brown rounds, but I hold surprise showings. F these ponies, those pigeon chested, cankle licking, dirty drawers, street <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Kizzle with I'm, the five. I thought spiders were supposed to kill bugs. How do you mess up a flat? Insomniac failed sixth grade geography. Spider Man 2 is 91 quality. <clears throat> Look at yourselves. I uh, got them super chats out of the way. So, um, what's up, Infant Umber? How you doing? So, Sean, let me ask you first, bro. What do you think about this Xbox? Um, uh, was it Partner Showcase that pa- was dropping yeah, this Wednesday? Partner Showcase. Let's give a shout out to the we got J Rock there in the chat as well. TTSN. J Rock, you J-Rock a menace, guys. bro. I love it. He's been killing them ponies on uh, them streets, so I love it, bro. They doing you know, new people... metrics, Sean. Just, just to say, J Rock tweeted eighty two times 82 about Spider Man Two. I'm just gonna mention that someone countered J Rock <laughs> talking that shit, so I love it, bro. Keep TTS in all day, every day, and every single one of you guys in the chat keep TTS in as well. Yep. But getting to this Xbox uh, partner showcase, this is dope. This because. You gotta give it. Xbox has put on like about five shows so far, and all of them have been really, really good. You know, not nothing like the opposite side where it's been completely dog shit. But to see this like <laughs> announcement, I remember watching um, the Iron Lords uh, today, and obviously Jazz kind of got the information that something's going on tomorrow for Xbox, mm-hmm. uh, right? right. Uh, and for PlayStation as well. So this was the news, and who knows like that? You talked about like you talked like with Alamek too. That was a PlayStation uh, marketing right, but it's, it doesn't seem like it because they're showcasing it. This is a partnership. They're mm-hmm. going to be showcasing a game this week as well in the next two days. And I wonder that they talked about, I wonder if some of these games they announced could it be coming to Game, Car- game Pass. Mm. Who knows if that made, they made a deal, but this is awesome to see some of the games from the third party, second party, brand new trailers and updates on uh, games that's coming to the Xbox platform and their partners. So this is awesome. I know it's about 20 to 25 minutes long, maybe 30 minutes, they said, but they're saying around about that, between 20 and 30 minutes long. So I'm looking forward to it. We know what to expect. If we get some surprises, some Game Pass announcement surprises, that's dope, but i got to give it five shows. Now, let me take you back for a second, about a year or two ago there. Joey, Dev, R&B. Mm-hmm. Do you remember a certain platform that said we're going to have mm-hmm. hundreds Hundreds of showcases <laughs> in a year. Please, please remind me which platform was that. 
that damn PlayStation after they canceled E E three nineteen. Remember that like the first year they canceled E three. That's right, because they're trying to make Stadium. a comeback. And, but tell me, please, how many shows did they have since then? Stadia had more. Do you want to count the state of plays? Them are not showcases. Oh, as far as showcases, they had one in 2020. You know oh, they had, had two in 2020. Let's, let's they had the one in 2021. The they didn't have one in 2022, so they have four. Four. <laughs> yeah. Four. Guys, yeah. in 2020 and 2021, that piece of shit, Jim Lion Ryan, said that you're going to have hundreds, hundreds of shows and showcases. Look at that shit. Three years later, you only got four showcases, some dog shit baby steps, uh, state of players. <laughs> is this what you're doing here? Is is this what we're doing here right now, guys? Just think about just think about it this year alone. Xbox Phil Spencer said, listen, we got a lot of content. We gotta spread out more shows, do more shows for our first party games and our partnership with the other other developers and uh, publishers. This is what's happening right now. But do you know what's gonna happen? I love what you what you tweeted out earlier there today. Mm. I remember them dog shit pony bots when they were crying, crying because Xbox missed out on Jeff Keighley's award award show one year ago. Mm-hmm. They they went after them, went after Phil Spencer, Aaron Greenberg, Xbox. They even probably came after us as well because we were saying, listen, it would have been nice if they were there, but I'm listen, I'm not gonna sweat it. It's all good. They're going to have their own showcases. They had the uh, Xbox game showcase in 2022. So they've been around. They went to the TGA uh, Gamescom and Tokyo Game Showcase. So I can't fault them. But this year alone, Developer Direct, Game Showcase, Indie Showcase, Tokyo Game Showcase, Gamescom. Now you got the partnership. So this is amazing so far. And to see like so much content and being like transparent with the, with the Xbox fans. We're getting so much news and so much content, and hopefully, we'll get some nice uh, surprises this, this week, bro. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's a fun time, man, because Xbox has so much first party content in development, man. Um, you, you know, you it just did. don't know. Yeah, you gotta think about just think about this right now. Mm. Activision just come on board a week ago, or two. <laughs> It's gonna be a different ball game oh, next year. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Scruffy Diamond, you know where you at. You gonna bring your bum ass in here talking trash? Do you know where the hell you at? We ain't one of those nice podcasts. Come on, ponies. Come on, give me your opinion. What do you guys want to talk about? Give us your like button, bitch. We don't play that shit here. You can hit that dick. That's right. Hit that dislike button and get your punk ass out of here. We exactly. don't need your likes. You read. Please piss off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dude. No, it's all good. I was just looking at the chat like, come on, man. Hey, yo, AJ, we don't we don't play with these ponies, these these PlayStation punk ass PlayStation fan was here talking shit. Hey, Spice is trash. Yeah. You get your punk ass up out of here, boy. Snipers yeah. are lacking. What's going on? Yeah. Um, Joey, so Go ahead, Joy. But like I said, uh, like Sean was saying, we we got to realize that now since Xbox owns Activision Blizzard, bro, damn, that still got me tripping. Like they own Activision Blizzard. Xbox owns Call of Duty. Xbox owns World of Warcraft, Overwatch. Xbox owns all of these IPs. Now, I'm thinking some of the New uh games they're making now are probably going to be exclusive. We heard that Blizzard is making the game, bro. Xbox got so much content in development, and we also heard about people can fly is working with them now. That's so right, it's crazy. Boy. it's crazy. So, Joey, um, what's your thoughts about this new Xbox preview? Uh, I'm sorry, partner preview that's coming partner this shit. Wednesday. Yeah, uh, uh, well, my for my surprise. Uh, we didn't know about this secret showcase. Like this was actually for real, a secret showcase, because we didn't know this barely twenty four hours ago. And then boom, the show was there. And like that's that's what you call a secret showcase, a real one. That's for starters. The second part is, I'm looking at the landscape, and it's like you did that tweet. Alan Wake, I thought was 
a PlayStation marketed game. And and you're muted there. And all no, of a sudden sorry about that. <laughs> and all of a sudden you see a showcase with other partners and Alan Wake for tomorrow. Oh no, not tomorrow for Wednesday. And it made me think a little bit like I think publishers, studios, and other people from the game and from the gaming world are looking at the landscape change a little bit. And they're partnering more with Xbox for shows and for other things mm. instead of PlayStation. If you're mm-hmm. looking at it. Tokyo Joey, Game that's Show. A great point. Seen... Joey, yeah. hold on. I don't mean to cut you off, but hold that thought. That's a great point. Maybe PlayStation doesn't have as many shows as they used to, obviously. And maybe mm-hmm. some of these third parties say, yo, we want to show our game off. We're ready to show our game off. Let me put it on your show. That's right, Joey. Probably, but, yeah. Right, we know like uh, PlayStation doesn't have any money as well, so don't forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, sorry, Joey. Go ahead, bro. If you have a company like Sony, the almighty PlayStation, right, and they're promising <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of shows, they're going to be here, they're going to be there, they're going to be in Tokyo, they're going to be in France, they're going to be in Germany, and then there are none of these shows. And then and they're going to quit their job because they're traveling so much. Oh, exactly. That, then you have that. That <laughs> that's a part of the image. If you, oh, because that's a good point. Like, oh, what kind of? Uh, if, oh. if you're a company and your the head, the president of your company, and say, "I don't like to travel, so I'm quitting." What is that telling you for all the game shows out there like PAX East, Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show? You're like, you're not even attending these shows. So your partners are looking at you like, so what do we do? And then you got Xbox over here. You're like, Bro, we're, we're doing a small show. You want to be part of it? And there you go. So I think these partnerships is going to increase more and more because I've never seen Xbox have a presence of Tokyo Game Show as strong. And look at them now. They're having a strong partnership with Japanese studios. Gamescom was quite big also. So I think this is uh, just the industry looking at the landscape changing and uh, that the best way to promote your games or even partnering with an exclusive or a time exclusive is going to be Xbox because they might be the biggest platform out there in the coming years. I'm not going to say today. I'm not going to say tomorrow. Probably in the next five to ten years, Xbox might be number one in the best place to promote and be in gaming. And that's my opinion. Joey, they don't want to hear shit like that, Joey. They don't. They don't want to hear that. This is the type of stuff PlayStation fans want to hear. You, nigga, you never know you gonna need some Vaseline, my nigga. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, let me get let me get these super chats and go to you, Devin. R and B. Uh, Raiden Blade with the five pounds. I just, I'm just, I just to remind all the that PlayStation is calling remake station for a reason. Insomniac mess with Spidey 2 to give a reason for a remake. It twice PS Slam and Pro. Uh the remake. So you said they already working on the remake of Spider-Man? Ooh. He's saying that they they messed up the game so they can remake it again. <laughs> That's what he's saying. They, <laughs> they messed it up so they can remake it. He said less, less bugs. With the correct fag this time. <laughs> Rangey four with the two ponies eat owl thighs. What the hell? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with Rangey four? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, Rain Blade with the two pounds. Starfield four million sold in twenty four hours. Spidey two point five in twenty four. I mean, we can't verify Starfield sold four million in we can, twenty four hours. Can. We can. Oh, so you just gonna run with it, Sean? No, we can. We can verify that, bro. <laughs> okay. You said can or well, can't? I can't. I can't I distinguish. Can. Okay. <laughs> Kids with wow, the two. Yeah. R.I.P. Connie Booth joining Jim in the Sony <laughs> Afterlife. Yeah. Con- Connie's next Yeah. Yeah. Next I, 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 Adidas 20 zero member for 13 months. Uncle Phil buying two publishers since Sony fired Jim. Hate stations blowing up. Layoffs and people quitting. Spider-Man not eating the bugs narrative. Dead. Listen, bro. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> bro, it's a lot of stuff to talk about. You know, uh, with the PlayStation side, with the Xbox side, man, it's crazy right now. Javier with the two, so 2.5 on one day. I wonder how Modern Warfare 3 would do. Hmm. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> Michael Fresh with the five. Shout out, Jim Ryan. Hopefully, he becomes the new CEO of Unity. <laughs> Seriously, oh, though, hopefully, we can get a new Tenshu soon. Derby be looking like midnight, too. Now, why are you, <laughs> why <laughs> you, you say that? Shit? Add that in there. Yeah, man, why you add that shit at the last sentence, too? Why you do that? <laughs> that was unnecessary. Yo, for, for, we were, for, I don't, I, the I, you yeah, had him in the I first half. <laughs> yeah. That was a good super chap. You might just should have said it first, shit. Oh, man. I, I honestly don't see Jim Ryan doing anything in the gaming business. 
I think he's gonna be like a dairy farmer or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, he because you know they probably had to. He really know. doesn't look like he likes to be in the gaming business. He's like, I went out. Yeah. <laughs> he was just in, you know, I did this one zero to five. When Microsoft bought COD, Sony lost his marketing money. Well, you guys saw, I don't know if you guys saw what um um what game before Tay put, because you know he works mm-hmm. at a GameStop, he's a manager at a GameStop, and he put that Xbox uh was marketing that it was some Call of Duty marketing. Um, but let's go ahead and finish this topic and I'll pull that up after R and B and R and B goes. Like did Devin, did you go, bro? No, I didn't go, but I don't oh, really have R&B. anything other to say that other than what Joey already said. So I'm like, I'm ready to talk to the next one. Oh, talk okay. about the next uh topic. Okay. Uh RB, so what's your thoughts about this Xbox um partners preview? Well, <clears throat> Excuse me. For the most part, it's just like you guys are saying. Xbox is generating so many games now; they can afford to have a show. Honestly, whenever they feel like it. So, I'm glad that we're going to see this out. Like, like we always said before, Dirt. Xbox is gearing up to have an avalanche of games, Mm -hmm. and so the the the, what? There's so many now. I forget the names of it. They don't have inside Xbox no more, but they have obviously they have the showcases. They have what are they called? Developer diaries, developer directs. Yeah, the regular, yeah, the developer directs. Then mm-hmm. they have the Twitch one where they do with just indie games. Then yeah. they have this, which is called Partner or something. Yeah, we ain't gonna, just what we ain't calling gonna, it. We, we ain't gonna count the indie game on part, partner preview. True, true, well, but well, I'm we saying, should, but they we have, should come to indies because if you look at the landscape, how indies were uh, how Xbox treated their indies and Nintendo next to PlayStation, PlayStation's not yeah. even in the conversation. Yeah, so okay, the, uh, Xbox, okay, that's true. Xbox is really treating the indie yeah. games with respect. Look up see yeah. the stars, look how beautiful people are playing that yeah. game on Game Pass. So that's true. I think that's we true. should we get some we should yeah. get some another pony here. in here. I'll shoot him out. Mm. Don't even hesitate. False alarm. Okay, that was a false alarm. I say, uh, one thing though, like. Most of the games they mention in the post are on Game Pass or coming to Game Pass. So I'm thinking, like, what if they announce Alan Wake 2 is coming to Game Pass? That's right. Hey, listen, that's because all the, all the other games are pretty much in Game or already announced to be on Game Pass. I can't see Remedy doing that though. That would I go can't see Remedy though. putting that game. Well, well, money, money talks, well, money talks, money does well, no, talk, no, money does no, talk. Yeah, uh, maybe, no, maybe no, BG3 no, is one might be coming to uh Xbox announce the announce the date or game. Yeah, yeah, no. look, well, that's I know, and uh, money talks, that's true. But one thing, and we always ask ourselves, what's Remedy makes great games, but they don't sell. They, yeah, they so game, maybe, sell well. maybe. This time, you know what? Let's secure a bag before anything. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay, okay, Joy. That's fair. Right, army, but, but go ahead, yeah. Army, Army. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we cut Army off. Go ahead, Army. Sorry, Army. Yeah, but like, of that aside, Xbox has so many games. They've literally created different avenues to show off specific genres of and types of games. They have something for indies. They have something for their third party. They have something for their main thing. They have something for the developers when the developers want to get up and show something. They have literally created avenues that keep us fed throughout the year. So we're now we're just now we're just not waiting for just one show around E3 time. So shout out to them for that. Like I was saying, that's what I was saying with the IDX. I shout out to ID and Xbox. That's how they have cultured a care for indie indie games. And um you know how they uh shown so far. But it's like it's it's a mix of they have so many games to show and they Oh, this is my chain of thoughts. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's so many games to show, and they've taken the time to say, all right, what's the best way to show this type of game? So I'm all here for it. I'm ready for it. The only thing I don't like is why is it on a Wednesday, not a Tuesday? I'm off Monday and Tuesday. I, I've been so chill. But nope, it would have to be the day I'm working. I'd be wanting to carry around his schedule. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me add something. Carl Lube is right. I forgot Epic will be the publisher for uh, yeah. Week 2. Epic so game yeah. But that's fine. This is my turn, anyways. Uh, it's one of them but games. Does, but does Epic market their things? Uh, I'm not even sure. No, but I don't who knows? Think you know that. Pass, yeah. You never know. Most like they publish that, so we see how that plays out. But who knows? But you gotta understand that when it comes to this partner uh, showcase with Xbox and his uh, owners, it's, it's even though say if it's average, the main thing is Xbox has done his main. When it comes to the main shows, Xbox deli- delivered on his main shows. That's what it's all about. Just like when you go back to me when PlayStation showed that dog shit showcase, it broke the PlayStation Nation. But when it yeah. came to Xbox, 
we were just talking that shit. We were having fun, having a ball on Twitter, watching these ponies cry left, right and centre. But that's the whole point. Every... <laughs> Yeah, that's a funny super chat. But like every previous show from Xbox has been dope. Now, if this one be average, fair plays. Overall, when it came to the main showcases, Xbox delivered, and that's what we yep. want. One hundred percent. Um, yep. So, I mean, let me talk about this right quick because this is just a quick little topic. Hey, what's the time, Sean? Because I'm on the other screen. Thirty-five uh, twenty. Thirty-five twenty. All right. So, like I said, Gaming Forte had posted this on his uh Twitter uh page. So obviously he's a manager at a at a GameStop in Michigan. And listen, look at that. That's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 marketing. That's what they sent his store. It wasn't PlayStation marketing it. Why see listen, we knew we heard that PlayStation still has marketing this year. The beta was uh only on PlayStation for a week, right? Mm -hmm. It was exclusive to PlayStation for a week, meaning they still have the marketing. But check this out, man. They sent this to him and his store, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 marketing with the Xbox logo at the top. Don't y'all find that? Um, kind of I don't find it strange because we heard, I, thought I heard rumors before that Sony was considering letting go the marketing for this game. I think that's because... They because Xbox might potentially own them and they didn't want to, you know how petty they are. They don't want to be put, they spend all that money to market a game to, to their rival that I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's something they had to consider. And, you know, Xbox, you know, shout out to them. They honor their contracts, but Sony apparently doesn't feel like it. So look at that. Hey, Wilkin I mean, Thor, I met the homie Forte. <laughs> Wilkin <laughs> Forte <laughs> said he got no Forte. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I, I, yeah, but you're I, right. I, I think uh, contracts, I think, changed a little bit for this game. I think they're in a joint marketing. I think Sony still get like the uh, social mm. media, the, the but joint you still marketing. see, they, yeah, I think there's a joint marketing with this one, to okay. be honest. Yeah, yeah, because obviously, like, we because like, I think, I think, because, look, to be honest, I think Sony was going to pull back. This is my crazy hypothesis. It's just crazy thing i think sony's going to pull back and sony and and xbox is like no nah, nah, don't pull back let's do this let's go half and half you mm. keep the tv and all those stuff i'll do the other minor stuff like uh posters and things like that you so know what i obviously don't know if that's the case but i think that makes sense what you just said joey maybe sony was like yeah it, it's useless to market it now because everybody know you guys own call of duty now let's say no 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 <laughs> yeah i still do the tv still have the beta for a week exclusive for a week but we'll Market it in the stores. Maybe you're right. Maybe that, I mean that's possible. But I just found maybe, it <clears throat> crazy that they, they actually maybe they, sorry. The, maybe they found a way around it, just like with the MLB. And that's the maybe other thing. Some, also. Maybe they found a way around it to market it because we yeah, know like when it comes to Sony, Sony marketing, they're brutal. Mm. So maybe yeah. they found some sort of way they can market it in a certain way. Like they looked at the contracts. They looked at the Call of Duty Activision contracts for Call of Duty and said, "Hey, wait a minute." Wait a minute, we could do something here. Mm. That's what might have you're happened. Probably, you're probably right, Sean. Like they might found something in the contrast that it's not covered by Sony, and it's covered by it's Activision. Not... And Xbox is Activision now, so it's like, you know what? Oh, we can do this shit. ourselves. Do, do you yeah, all enjoy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, y'all are yeah. cooking right now. Like y'all thinking the shit I ain't even thought about. <laughs> they had, they had a conversation with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> all Just right, with Death Stranding, bro. For PC. <laughs> what about Death Stranding? <laughs> yeah, when it came to yeah. Game Pass on PC, the, there's ways yeah. around it. Right, right. Yeah. So maybe they found something in them contracts. So you motherfucking ponies, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> this is the last one forever. And ever. Oh man. So, all right, guys. Uh, let me get these super chats. You guys are funny, man. <laughs> As are you, player. As are you. Pepsi Man X360 with the two. Why do I suddenly want milk does? <sighs> oh my god! I cannot believe, man. You know what? Oh my god! I don't know why. Uh, why would, uh, that doesn't make sense? That super chat. Does. Why would Pepsi Man say that shit? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it makes no sense, Pepsi Man. Will you <laughs> 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 show some respect, Pepsi Man? Michael Fresh with the five. Fine. I'm sorry. You look like a star. Starry night. That's cloudy. TTS. <laughs> What did I do to deserve this, Sean? 
you know, by turning your camera on, you did this to yourself. <laughs> well, they you know like, what I look like. You remind it. me of a PlayStation, a PlayStation and ponies. You did it to yourself. I did it to myself. Okay. <laughs> Karen's raised a potato salad with the fire. Dirt, the only one on cam with the cam on. The rest of y'all bootleg Wu Tang clan, turn your cameras on, especially you, Joey, before I take your cornbread. You cornbread. You, you want your cornbread? <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, you have my cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what damn so you can have my cornbread, motherfucker. <laughs> Bay Area with the five. Shout out to the panel, the 700 plus 80. Uh, I'm sorry, 780 plus bots in the chat. And to J Rock, who is the truth for Xbox, who keeps his foot on the ponies' necks on the daily. Listen, man, J Rock is the man, bro. When they are doing metrics based on you, <laughs> when ponies are while they're at work being paid by their job but they're taking the time out of their day to count how many times j-rock tweeted about spider-man 2 you know he's a menace like he's the gremlin nation hey shout out to j-rock man if <laughs> they can't stand him bro j-rock is a monster bro <sighs> i love it shout out to the 812 people in here we got jay rimber with the 10 microsoft should reach out to whoever owns the ip for ninja gaiden and make an exclusive ninja gaiden game also, rumor has that Microsoft wrote Sony a check for the marketing rights to COD. Mm. I would love. To, I didn't hear that rumor. That's interesting, though. <coughs> Come on, Dolan Knight. I do not like no damn Ernie Shavers. Dolan Knight got to be old because he be saying some old ass people sometimes. <laughs> God, Emperor Sofa King with the five people need to start roasting D Batch that pony box. <laughs> That's Sean Boy, man. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on. Let's get this show moving. Get the show moving. Let me uh, write down a topic for the next topic, of course. Do the timestamp. 42 minutes. The 49, yeah, you old POS. I knew you was old. All right, guys, let's talk about this because um, let me pull it up first off. Sorry. Let me pull it up. Where the hell is it at? I just had it. Sean, where is it at now? What you have to play, boy? I got it. So, like I said, I mentioned this a few weeks ago. PlayStation fanboys, they was out there worrying about uh, Forza Motorsport, talking shit about Starfield. And I remember on the dark, man, I specifically said they're worrying about Xbox games. They need to put all their focus on what's going on in their house. Focus on your house. If your house has issues, if you're in a dysfunctional family, your husband cheating on you, your wife cheating on the husband, the kids crackheads, focus on your house. Don't worry about the people across the street. That's what ponies were doing. They're trying to nitpick about Starfield, nitpick about Forza, worrying about what Phil Spencer said on this interview, worrying about that. Meanwhile, your house is in shit. Y'all CEO of PlayStation left or got fired. Yes, the news outlets mentioned it, but nobody really talked about it except for us bots. Yes, the PlayStation podcast mentioned it, but nobody really talked about it in depth except for us bots. Now, David Jaffe last night said, yo, it's some messed up news. Something's going on the PlayStation. The PlayStation of old is not the same. It's a different PlayStation. And he was really making people think like, yo, what the hell is going on the PlayStation? So then this morning it was announced that Connie Booth leaves PlayStation after 34 years. He said, who the hell is Connie Booth? <laughs> Apparently, she is a very uh, uh, successful executive over there at PlayStation. She's been at PlayStation for 34 years. Let me pull up this other um, this, uh, this actual, the actual article. Oh, this ain't no damn article. Yeah, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll cover you there. Don't worry about it. it. Thanks, bro. When it comes to her time, she's done 34 years, guys. 34 years for PlayStation. Now, during the time there, do you know what game she worked on? What's that? Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, mm. Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Part 2, 
Mm. Uncharted for much, much more. This is a big loss, guys. You love to talk that shit. You love talking that shit like Dirt said. Look at your own house before you critique or say some shit about somebody else's house. This is a big loss. And look, David Jaffe might have kind of blew this out of proportion, but he knows he's been in the game. He's worked for PlayStation. He knows what her role was. So she's been for 30 years and she's uh, kind of left. She's not retired. She's left. Now, all I got to say is Playboy, come to Xbox. <laughs> you can't play look- <laughs> <laughs> Come to X- Xbox. We look after you. But that, listen, we always talk about this. There's so much news going uh, surrounding uh, PlayStation. We've been to pull uh, pull joy in there. Uh, there's, oh. uh, there's there's so much news uh, surround because I'm not near my computer. Uh, yeah. There's so much news uh, surrounding PlayStation. You gotta understand, guys. 2023 has been a massive change. A massive change for PlayStation, especially after the ABK deal. Once it got done, Jim Ryan leaving. PlayStation, like I said, they're putting the prices up, cancelling games, factions put put on ice. You got to think about this, guys. There's something big happening right now. Big changes is happening. Who knows what's going to happen, but will the talent stay there? Will the people that's been working for 25, 35, 40 years since the OG days, are they still going to remain there because new leadership is coming? Who knows? Maybe maybe King <coughs> David said it. Maybe PlayStation, this is the last one for them, uh, for them Playboy. Let's see there, but this is. Do you know what's funny about this? There, people try. Uh, they're not talking about this as much. I've not. Yeah, they're not. That. They're not talking well, about this so much. Some people, some people are talking about which, uh, like some like say like Zuby Tech or these guys. They say that's a big loss because they know yeah. she's been she's been in the game for a minute and she's worked on some great games. So I wonder how this is gonna play and what's gonna happen further down the line. This is. I think this is beginning to be honest. Yeah, um, so she was a producer at PlayStation. They're saying they're not clear whether it's just her or her whole team. Or yeah. if she stepped down or was she let go. They just don't know at this point. I'm assuming it will come out eventually. But, you know, like I said, this is like we never heard of her, but she was obviously an important piece behind the scenes with PlayStation. So go, going back to what I said, you guys can't just say this means nothing because let's be real. Let's be real. When when things were happening at 343, when people like uh I'm what's the guy named something Lee had left and like he was the head of the gang. Yeah, Chris, Lee, yeah. Chris, Chris Lee, Lee and some other stuff, some things were happening, but some Xbox guys was blowing it off. No, we shouldn't have blew it off because obviously there was some reasons that people were leaving or being replaced. So we can't just ignore what's happening at playstation now you guys thinking yes these are x bots of course they're going to be talking shit of course we are but i'm trying to advise you playstation fans stop thinking everything is all beautiful everything is going to be okay because there's too much shit going on right now there's layoffs happening games being canceled your ceo left now a very important part of playstation has either left or gotten fired you can't keep on ignoring this shit. You can't ignore it, bro. Like I said, I gave a perfect example of what was going on at 343. Some of us Xbox guys ignored it, but obviously there were some changes being made for a reason. Why are these changes being made to PlayStation? I don't know. We might not never know the truth, but all I'm saying is y'all need to pay attention to your own house and stop worrying about what Xbox is doing. Because if you look at Xbox... Xbox is looking really good right now. Damn good. I just saw a clip of the pony Colin Moriarty saying Phil Spencer's a liar. Y'all need to worry about PlayStation right now. Y'all worry about Phil Spencer. Oh, he's lying about Elder Scrolls. He lied about this. He's fibbing Phil. What the hell is he lying about? Y'all need to put that energy towards what's happening at PlayStation. Now, Colin Moriarty has been critical of PlayStation before. So that's what he needs to do. Hey, did. I would like to see how how will he tackle this uh, with uh, what's the name? Connie, Connie, what? Connie Ross? C- Connie Booth. Booth, yeah, same shit. But <laughs> <laughs> Connie Ross, <laughs> you made Molly <laughs> Ross simple to see, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same shit. But like, I wonder how they're gonna play this off. Um, 
You're there. If, if some people are saying it seems like a full team is gone. Now there, you know, there's when you work for a company or you work like for someone, the leader. You've been you've been working with them guys for like 30, 40 years. Mm-hmm. If that person gets fired or kind of gets pushed out, you're gonna feel some kind of way. Maybe a team will be thinking, you know what? Let's go. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll start something new, or maybe they close that part of the, the division completely down. We don't need yep. you anymore. It's costing too much. You need your punk ass out of there. <laughs> it could be that the budget cuts. We've seen the price increases. We've seen the cancellations. We've seen Jim Ryan punk ass saying he's too tired flying around bullshit. He's got pushed out. Who is the new CEO? Some guy from the mobile division? Nah, play, I, but think I think he's like a big time executive at Sony though. At no, he's Sony, a big time. Not PlayStation. At Sony, not, at yeah. Sony though. though. We're talking about yep. PlayStation here. At 100%. So, so I wonder what's going to happen. If this guy's a big time, he's a Japanese uh, a CEO, he's going to look at some people. He might think, you know, I don't like these guys. Let's move them out. I say, get my own team there. Because he's the new leader. You want your own people in that. there. It's happened. I've seen it at my own workplace. Kick Absolutely. the people out. Get my, get my own people in there. That's how it works. Just when it comes to business or big business, when you want your own team, you, you're the new leader, you want your own team. Just like with Phil Spencer, he's built his team up. As you can see right out there, you see the face of his team. Mm-hmm. You know, that, hey, that's how, that's what you do. That happened that's to me, Sean. What, it happened to now, me. It I was working me. part-time at GameStop. My homie, Rulio44, I haven't seen him in the chat in a while, but yeah, I hope he's he okay. was the manager, but he left and got another job. So I, I was still working there. Like the new manager came in, was like, yeah, uh, yeah. So he hired you, right? And I was like, I don't want to be here no more, you piece of shit. But he he didn't want me there because I was who Rulio hired, and he wanted his his own team. So even on a small scale like that, Sean, you're absolutely right. Just imagine when you at a big scale like Sony, you want who you want. You want your people, people you trust. You know, it's hard, it's difficult to rock with people you don't know as well when you have a team that you've been working with for years and you know you can trust and now you have a new manager and you're like i don't know this piece of shit i'm about to go with my girl connie booth so you're absolutely right let me get these super chats so we continue jake the game and trucker with the five duts all these years and we still don't know what your job is <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell y'all guys money these uh, days. Man, yeah, it's just uh, ray tracing. Let's go. let's leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Spartan six six one with the five. Is Sony dead from the inside out? One of the producers leaving after thirty four years, and he's been uh, there longer than Jr. She got the whole team following her. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Something's happened because don't forget there was also some more layoffs. Um, last yeah. week. In the Lincoln, bro, you said, yeah, that's, that's I got what I'm it. talking about. I'm gonna put it up next. Let me get the super chest. Yeah, Pepsi man with the two. If I rub your head, can you grant me a wish? Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the angry therapist with the five. I blame ponies for all of this. They kept their mouth shut for too long over too many things Sony has been doing to them. 100%. Capital right. Dream with the five. Imagine if Disney announces tomorrow that they have sole custody of Spider Man. Ooh, <laughs> that would be some funny shit. Mark Smith, member for one month. Microsoft Cash is about to advertise Sony out of business. They're going down. They can't argue with that much cash. Not only do they have the cash, Microsoft is letting Xbox spend the cash and use the cash. Hey, bro. we've seen that shit. That was mm-hmm. a big, the marketing push was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. The angry therapist with the two. By the way, Sony bought Bungie on layaway. <laughs> Damn, Fox. they so you say they had to pay make payments on them M- monthly payments. <laughs> Geo Walker, remember for eighteen months. PlayStation Visual Artists Arts Studio hit with layoffs according to Gamer Beards article today. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. And um, let me pull this other one. Apparently, up right apparently that she worked in that part. Oh, she did. Oh, okay. But uh, this is somebody else. There's some people that got laid off, like you said, from LinkedIn. And, um, unfortunately, following a wave of layoffs, last week was my last day at PlayStation. So it's unfortunate what's going on there. Um, but like I said, y'all need to worry about your own household. But, Stop worrying about where Xbox is doing. But, Dirt, more to the point, this recent news came after David Jaffe went on a little tirade and from where he used to work there he's we used to be a developer there so he would know more than us and he apparently knew this woman t- uh, to some degree because she was been there 34 years i'm pretty sure he mm-hmm. was there yeah 
And his whole thing was, this is the death of PlayStation because he sees them changing regimes and changing how they do things. And the ponies have like a love-hate relationship with him, depending on what he says. So he says something good about whatever, they love him, but he says the opinion, they hate him. So, you know, Mm -hmm. that, that whole dog and pony show. But if someone who worked there, who's used to the DNA of how they used to get down, Mm-hmm. Is saying this is the death of how uh, the Sony you know, a PlayStation you know, mm-hmm. and all you hear is crickets from the ponies or the hardcore fans or whoever has something, the vocal minority, whatever. Because they said, Man, we've retired, we, we listen to you. Well, they always have something combative to say. They are the reason PlayStation is in its degraded state it is right now. Because I can't remember the guy's name, but he has a YouTube channel and he. You talked about games and other things, but he talked about how the death of Sony has been a long time coming because no matter what they did, their fanboys wouldn't complain, wouldn't give feedback. They just accept it. No matter what they did, good and bad, they just accept it because they were riding high, so high on the arrogance of PlayStation, the number one brand, yada, yada, and their success that they would just got into a mode of giving excuses for everything he did. Charge more for stuff with less features. Gave excuses. Hey, you're home for a second. Hey, Mr. Kimmel, what are you talking about? I can see you. You ain't blocked. What you talking about? Um, yeah, that's how he said. I guess I'm blocked. No, no, you're not blocked. I can see you. I can see your, I yeah, bro, we can see you. here. We can see you. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, we can see you. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, Army. Go ahead, bro. No, you're good. <laughs> Um, this crappy PlayStation Go thing that doesn't even let you use your phone's data or can't even use cloud, they make excuses for it. The lack of shows, they make excuses for it. The bugs in their games, when bugs in their last, what, five big releases, when before they didn't have bugs at all, there's bugs in Spider-Man 2, there's bugs in Horizon Forbidden West, there's bugs in Returnal, and I think the last two before that, uh, uh, days gone. And however, when there was a time when PlayStation games didn't have bugs, or at least bugs to a degree where we didn't even notice, they make excuses for it. They they're running out of things to make excuses for, because now it seems that every part of PlayStation what makes great is now faltering, mm. and they continue to make excuses. So the era they're in now, where they're kind of jammed up because. They have to do games as a service. No, we need to try and see. No, they have to. They have to come up with games with multiplayer. They have to come up with games to have a second life after the single player campaign. And they're losing Call of Duty. And the big people that made them great are leaving, like Sean Layden and the people before him. And now um, Connie Booth, who I I vaguely remember her name, but I didn't know her that much. But from what David Jaffer saying, she's real crucial to what made PlayStation PlayStation. Yeah. They're, yeah, still making, really they're still making excuses. So what happens when PlayStation just breaks down altogether and you don't see a lot of shows? Then they'll call, call Microsoft the evil corporation. Yeah. Look, look, look. Hold on, hold on, read this right quick. Read this. Okay. David Zavi said, you love PlayStation? Well, Connie Booth if, is one of those, one of the reasons. The work she has done, the game she has ushered into existence. Good Lord. Just check her credits. and I'm fine. Where it is, she and her team perhaps are out, and the ex head of Gorilla is stepping in. So they're not um, getting rid of her position; they're just getting rid of her and her team. They're replacing her and possibly her team. So, Joey, go ahead, bro. Joey, go on, Joey. You the mind, mind. You POS. Yeah, no, right, well, never mind. Yeah. You gotta understand that David Jaffe, like we're all making great points on guys in the chat as well. David Jaffe's been in the game from PlayStation from early days, so he knows how this woman works and her team. So and obviously he has inside sources because he knows Sony, he knows people that work in Sony as well, because he's been there, done that. But like with Connie Connie Booth, what she's doing and uh, her team, if he is saying this is big news, this is personal, he knows like what she does behind the scene is a big big play 
She mm. might not be in the she might not be like the front face and center, but what she does behind the scenes, producing game, maybe helping pushing out games, maybe giving budget, financial support, whatever you want to call it, over the last 30 plus years, he knows this woman's really important. To produce them type of high quality game, to give that support as well for the teams. He knows that, you know what, she, if she's going, PlayStation may never be the same again. Because she's yep. been in that position for 34 years there. She hasn't been there for two years. She's been there for three decades. Coming that's up crazy. to four oh. decades. So that's crazy. To, like, if if PlayStation dudes love their games, even uh, including ourselves, we like some of the games as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could there be changes? Who knows? That team's going, and again, the ex uh, gorilla head, whatever uh, he or she's called, coming there and taking that spot. It may not be the same. It might, it may not be the same. It might be a totally different team. Or if the team is still there, she's just gone. The people that's worked for her for 30 plus years, they, they didn't. Do you know what? I don't like this guy. Or I don't like this new uh, leadership. Let me get my punk ass out of there. Let me go somewhere else. <laughs> so very possible that this is big changes coming. And we've been hearing big changes all coming. And slowly but surely. We starting to see them. Yep. We started to see the cracks. Yep, 100%. Let me get these super chats. Call we with the five. Xbox is now a bigger revenue driver than Windows for Microsoft. Clowns still think they're going to shut down Xbox. Not a chance in hell that's happening. Bro, it was so funny when I was like, you know, my ABK deal video where I had those receipts and people was like, Xbox is done. They're dead. They're dead. (laughs) <laughs> that's like bro they want xbox to be dead so bad jacks 82 the two for spoken's failure made a company fold to square but well, spoken was a yeah that was a flop bro people want to bring a rare fall so quick to bring a rare fall but they don't bring up for, for spoken yeah now nah, we ain't forgot about for spoken it look like shit dut. Dut. new york giant man with the 10 dut what did greater face say about layoffs when the deal went through Wonder if he's going to bring that up. Has anyone wondered what Sony Creamcast guy <laughs> his game is like? I I didn't I don't watch his show. I have no idea <laughs> what he said about anything. The only time I see is when somebody, you know, like that's why I saw me get some clips and I see it on Twitter. Raiden Blade with the two pounds. Guys, in five to seven to ten years, I see Xbox being bigger than Microsoft. Mm, I don't know about that, bro. Well, just Gordon actually said that. Probably Xbox is going to be bigger than Windows itself. Oh wow, that's crazy, bro! Well, I mean, well, you know, you know what? The they bulk, have the potential of, because, like the to, like the money they're spending, bro. They must believe in the brand. The bulk of the money is all cloud services and things like that. But apparently, it could be even bigger than Windows. And I apologize, right now my internet is not cooperating. I'm getting signal signals from the UK, so it's shit right now. Mm. What was the topic? Yeah. Uh, no, we talking about the Connie thing, so. Well, you got anything before we move on? Yeah, uh, I say let Sony burn. I don't care. Oh, Holy shit. shit. I say no, bring no, 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 her no, 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 get no, get her what? hired no, no, at Blizzard no, because they need someone even, like that. Because don't, their don't, game don't even bring her. Don't even bring her because I'm tired of hearing David Jaffe talk about her, talk about other co workers he had back in the day, and calling every single Xbox executive inept and stupid. He's asking for Matt Booty to get fired to put her in his position. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what? You're the almighty PlayStation. Burn. I don't care. No, no. I, I'm stop Just caring. Question everybody for you, want, Everybody wants doom and gloom for Xbox. But, oh, Sony needs to be safe. You know what? Fuck them. Hey, Joey. <laughs> question for you, bro. Does David Jaffe have a job? No. Exactly. So it's irrelevant. Next topic, oh, Dirt. Shit. The best in the industry are getting fired. <laughs> oh, shit. So make that make sense. All righty, fellas. Yeah, before um, you move on there, um, I'll just add one thing. You dumbass ponies and you dumbass guys in PlayStation. This is Xbox you're talking about. This is Microsoft. The game is changing right in front of you. Mark's playing anymore. They are you buying people in cash. $70 billion, $10 billion. <laughs> Yeah, they ain't playing anymore. That's the difference right now. And Sony knows, PlayStation knows they can't compete on that level. These ponies know as well, but just enjoy your sales, enjoy your console sales. Because when the time comes, you can end up like bitches on the street corner. <laughs> All right, man. Um, passionate topic. Let's go ahead and move on. You know, you know, I like to do two hours max, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, son? Mm-hmm. All right, you know so we mean? got be what? Nah, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Run that shit, tight, bitch. Son. Nah, I mean. <laughs> All right, so check this out, man. We got a couple more topics before we get to POS of the week. So I, uh, you know, we talked about this last week, but I still want to talk about this again. Make the click. Shut your mouth, as Sugar Cues would say. Shut your mouth. Um, something I want to show you, we talk about because, like I said, this is a big thing, and we talked about it on TTS. I talked about it on Dark Man, but let's really talk about this again, y'all. Starfield. Now, how did Starfield, a game that's in Game Pass, outsell Mortal Kombat? Now, these are copies. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. These are games that sold. This is not Game Pass engagement. It outsold Mortal Kombat 1, FIFA, EA Sports FC 24, Madden, which is in the second month of release. Madden used to be number one for a few months in a row. Payday 3, NBA 2K. Now, this is America. This is the United States. The biggest market. The biggest market. And we know 2K and Madden is some beasts here in the States. Mortal Kombat 1. Multi-plat, 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 multi-plat. Starfield is only on PC and Xbox. Mortal Kombat, franchise, FIFA, sports, Madden, sports, payday, franchise, 2K, fran- uh, sports, the crew, sports. Look at this. And I'm going to tell you guys flat out. When I saw his number one, I said, damn. Damn. Shout out to Xbox. Shout out to God Howard. Shout out to Phil. They say Xbox don't buy games. This is very impressive. I don't know. I don't care how you spin it. This is very impressive what Xbox did with Starfield. What Starfield is doing exceeded expectations in my book. I was listening to Iron Lords yesterday and Cog was like, I didn't see it being number one. I didn't necessarily see it being number one either because it's in Game Pass on Xbox consoles and PC. I didn't see it selling like this. And people still want to act like this game is a failure. They changed the narrative so quick. I saw people say, well, that was mostly PC. I don't give a shit what it was. It's number one. It's their game. What difference Xbox does it make? smartly put their game on PC day and date for a reason. You know, PC gamers love but there's the games. They love but there's the games. I've seen the goalpost move so much. This guy left me a message said it was a failure because it didn't move the needle on Game Pass subscriptions. I listen, I got that comment in one of my videos. I said, You can't be serious, man. That's why I don't talk to ponies that often. They said this, they still out there saying this game was a failure. Not only was it number one for September. Oh shit, this one I can't see that well. I just leave it. No, I leave it. Either. Not only is it number one for September. In one month, pretty much three three weeks, it went to number seven of twenty twenty three. 2023. Look what's ahead of it. Hogwarts, Harry Potter franchise, huge franchise, Legend of Zelda franchise, Madden Sports, Diablo 4. It's a franchise. Call of Duty franchise, Star Wars. That's a sequel and a huge franchise. Starfield is right there in one month. Hey, Sean, Joey, Devin, RB, what in the hell was number 12? Can y'all answer that for me? Come on, boys. Answer that. that. Come on. What the dog shit game people was talking about was going to be, was going to destroy Starfield? It's number 12. Mm. I'm sorry, is it 12 or 10? Oh, no, it's It's 12. 12. It's 12. 12. Yeah, it was 10. Now it's 12. That's what it's like. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16. Mm. This guy Mm-mm. hype said 
Final Fantasy 16 first week sales, 3 million versus Starfield, 2 million. If Final Fantasy 16 was a flop, then Starfield is a disaster. Dummy. You a mm. dumbass. Dummy. Look at yourself. He was comparing the early access two million. <laughs> that was early access, bro. Question: When when, when did Final Fantasy came out? In June, I believe. In June, I think it was around the same time. Around about June, July. Yeah, June, July. So it's had more time. So it to had cook. a few months. To and cook. Starfield still beat it. And these guys still want to sit up here and try to hate on this game and say it's a failure. Now they bring us, but look at Spider Man, two point five million in one day. Hey, that yeah, we were told by the millions and millions of ponies <laughs> that Starfield will never ever be successful without mm. that dog shit big bitch of a console, PlayStation Five. Mm. Isn't that right, Playboy? Oh, yeah. I remember vividly, Sean. So what's up so now? I just checked the numbers of June. I just checked the numbers of June when Final Fantasy came out. Guess who was number one? What's that? Diablo 4. <laughs> Another Xbox game, right? <laughs> Another Xbox game. <laughs> hey, your next month is uh, is the next one Call of Duty? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, next <laughs> month is Call of Duty. So at the end of the day, y'all, we're having a little fun. We're having fun here, but come on, man. <laughs> y'all thought Starfield was going to be a failure. Y'all wanted Starfield to be a failure. And I'm sorry, they just didn't give it to you. Y'all wanted it to be a failure so bad. They did not give it to you. Sorry. That's I just how the cr- out, crumbles, uh, you piece of trash. Out, you say what? Uh, no, no, no. To be fair, Final Fantasy and the ponies. Final Fantasy 16 did came out at the end of June. So let's check the July numbers. Guess who was number one? What's that? Remnant, Remnant Two. Was it? <laughs> and, yeah, and guess who was number two? Diablo Four. Where did Final <laughs> Fantasy fall off <laughs> to fifth? Oh man. So, so no, Final Fantasy did not do. Well, it did well. I'm not saying number two and number three ain't, ain't bad numbers like at all, but but compared <laughs> to Starfield, a single player game without microtransaction and no multiplayer, sold exclusively on the third place box and on PC did better than everybody else. Mm. How, how about you guys shut the fuck up now? Exactly. That's right, how, about, how, about ga- how about Game Pass is not what, what's the word they use? Cannibalizing sales. Mm-hmm. It's not doing anything. Oh, but it didn't move the needle for Game Pass. But it didn't lose subscribers either, you dummy. Mm. Well, Joey, we don't know if it moved the needle because we let's, don't let's know use it numbers. But let's use it though. Let's use it yeah. though. But we know Game Pass did not lose subscribers either. Yep. And people that were inside Game Pass, most of them were actually paying the thirty bucks for the uh, uh, for the premium upgrade. Mm. So, so Xbox subscribers still paid for Starfield, and that's not counting the controllers, the the, the wrap, the special editions that we all saw on social media. So, whoever is out here trying to downplay the success of of Starfield and an Xbox game first party game studio with any stupid narrative like "oh, PC carried the whole thing." And where's the money going? It's not going to Steam. It's going to Redmond. It's going to Xbox. So who cares? They're still trying to play the console battle when console it's sales weird. don't mean as much as it used to. Xbox has proved it. They didn't sell consoles. All right. Who gives a shit? You know, when it comes who to the Final Fantasy... Yeah, Joey, when it comes to the Final Fantasy game, let's be real, man. Everybody talks about that game. That game has been around for like 20 plus years, 25 plus years now. It doesn't hit the same, trust me. The way these guys are capping for that game, that game will do three to seven million max at best. Final Fantasy games I'm talking about. Bro, at best. Seven only did yeah. seven million. No, 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 no. Yeah. I was about to say that. Final Fantasy seven, which is like the most beloved Final Fantasy out there, reached seven, like barely. No, I'm just so saying because this... you guys got to understand, a lot of them games were from PlayStation uh, gamers back then, PlayStation 1, but you got on yourself a Super Nintendo, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of people converted to Xbox. Some people are more Xbox fans right now, so them fans may not have a double console, two consoles. Maybe they have PC, that game's not available on PC as of right now. So they, that's what the sales are bad. Listen, 
these deals that these uh, publishers are making with PlayStation only on the box, it's a problem. They need to start doing day and day drops with PC at least. These publishers don't lock it down to one shitty box. But at the end of the day, we know the new CEO has made a new partnership uh, with Phil Spencer and Xbox. Future games from uh, Square Enix, it's going to be a different ball game. And I'm mm. glad they're finally mm-hmm. seeing that because Final Fantasy doesn't hit like that anymore. I don't care how good the game is. That game is not getting past, it's looking to get past 10 million sales. Mm. Yeah. The, the Final Fantasy right now is, is catering to a small niche like audience right now, to be honest. Because if you look at the numbers, they don't, the Final Fantasy like fan base, I don't think surpasses 10 million people, to be honest. Compared, compared to a Bethesda fan base, there's a lot of us out there. Like yep. a lot of them, for real. So, look, the, all these dumb narratives out there that Xbox does, can't sell for anything. Consoles, I don't know. We don't know, really. We don't know how much they're selling. If they're selling, I don't care either because we're still getting content. They're fine. Consoles. They're doing fine. And they're fine. fine. They're pretty much fine. So, the, the, all, all these narratives, the other dumb narrative, like Xbox, uh, Game Pass is the death of video games and things like that. Subscription is the death of video games because games are being catered for Game Pass. While you have no subscribe to Game Pass, while you have these dumbasses in YouTube telling you every day, hit the likes button and subscribe. Mm. So Tell what are you joke. talking about? So you're the death of quality TV then. Mm. How about you shut the fuck up? Oh. It's going to be fine. This is going to be fine. Game Pass is going to be fine. I don't know. PlayStation is going to be fine, but I know Xbox is going to be fine. Facts. Yeah, ABK, <laughs> we got Bethesda, we got the best shooters. Yeah. Think about your house. Stop worrying about us, bro. For real. You got a fire over there. You got people getting fired. You got people leaving. You got people retiring. And nobody's bad in an eye. Look at Spider Man. Never in my life would have thought that game would have been buggy as I, as it is. And yep. Look how buggy it is. And they're trying to hide it instead of instead of saying something because you're paying seventy dollars for these games. Say something. Hey, Stop uh, capping Joey, for this shit. Uh, I don't blame Insomniac. I blame the PlayStation 5. That's what there's a pro coming out. I do. They're hiding it. <laughs> Let me get these super chats, it. y'all. Uh, Bars Red 77 with a uh, member for seven months. Just watch the Xbox on Vegas Spear. The world is taking notice. They think of true true beauty. Absolutely, man. We're going to talk about it's that. Amazing, nice. Uh, D Skills H Town with the two. When did Jeezy get a gaming podcast? I'm not Jeezy, you piece of trash. How dare you call me Young Jeezy? I know Sean. I don't know who the hell we talking about. Don't worry about it, Sean. Ooh, Onyx, remember for six months. Dut, according to Spider Man Two, I'm Cuban. <laughs> it was a lie. My parents <laughs> lied to me. I'm devastated. <laughs> Joy, you pos. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, we gonna mention that. <laughs> Spartan six six one with the five. A a May statement on another podcast saying that that I think Starfield Wild sell Spider Man on release. I'm sure it was in a super chat a month ago. Months ago. I actually. I, I actually said that. I think I thought. I still think like Spider-Man might outsell Starfield really by releasing it, like releasing numbers, but at the by like the, like the, the overall like lifetime mm-hmm. sales of the game. I think Starfield is gonna take. Yeah, because Spider-Man is only on the PS5, you know. So plus you got people playing six hundred out six hundred days in the game. Like, yeah, still or something playing, like bro. that. I still ain't finished playing. it yet. I still ain't finished yeah. it yet. Because like, you know, I was taking my time, man. So, and we're not counting DLC expansions that stuff yep. is gonna come, mods and things like that. So, no, man, yeah. So, all right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Hey, Sean, I got a question. What is that what, question? What What time is it? Oh, no, hold on, what time? <laughs> guess what <laughs> time is it? What do I say? What time you say, guess, guess what time it is, Sean? What time is the killer? I think you know. <laughs> Piece of shit of the week. I be forgetting that shit. Uh, time for POS of the week. We have a few this week. Um, uh, but first off, let me let, no, I can show that afterwards. So, somebody just mentioned the Las Vegas spear. Let me show you uh, some pieces of shit of the week or, or, or sphere. Sphere. So, oh, is it a spear or sphere? You said sphere. It's sphere. Spear. 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 Oh my god. Like Goldberg. Spear. Spear. Yeah. Uh, okay. Saturn. Yeah. It's Saturn. a Saturn. Oh my god. So this <laughs> blow this up. So this guy, he's quote tweeting the Xbox spear. 
He says, I will say, Sony and Nintendo both dropping massive, hugely anticipated games on the same day, both of which are some of the best of the generation in many ways, while X, while Microsoft spends millions of dollars to say, hey, oh hey, God. we exist oh too. God. Oh, my God. So this guy is oh. saying marketing. Xbox it's marketing is them saying, hey, we exist too. So they're not market. So, I mean, but marketing is to put your product out there, right? Isn't that what marketing is, guys? Yes. Yeah, so this guy is saying they're marketing because they're they're losers and they said they want attention. We exist too. Now, look, man, this guy is a massive piece of shit. But the second piece of shit quote tweeted this guy, mm -hmm. Mighty Keith, who is obviously a big YouTuber. He does bullshit trash videos where he's talking to himself as different characters. He's finally coming out of the closet. Not talking about his sexuality. I'm talking about his ponyism. He's coming out with his pony. He's not hiding it anymore. He's yeah, on he's Twitter because I heard that. I heard that he wasn't on Twitter. He has stopped being on Twitter for a while, but now he's back. And he's not hiding his bias anymore. It's fine. So if you like PlayStation, yeah. like it. He's transitioning into a horse now. That's what he's doing. Yes, he's he's transitioning to a horse. If okay. I would have <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. If I would have said this, they would have called me a hater. But the sad reality is this has been the trend in a couple console gaming industry. Oh no, I'm sorry, not this one. What? Not I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. I'm sorry, yeah. my bad. My bad. I'm sorry, that was the wrong one. My bad. I fall yeah. off. I fell off. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is it at? I'm sorry. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad, y'all. I know it was him, but that wasn't the one I was talking about. So he said, <clears throat> "Using when? Yeah, go ahead. Me. Underneath that." Microsoft just dropped. So this guy says Microsoft just dropped Starfield and Forza. And Sony literally used the Vegas Dome thinking for marketing the next day. The, the the Vegas Dome thing for marketing next day, right? So he said using the dome is not the point. Using the dome to prove to you every to to prove everyone you exist without providing much quality games is. Now this is the one I meant to show. He's saying mm -hmm. using the dome is not the point. Using the dome to prove to everyone you exist without providing much quality games is. Okay. Are you kidding me? Well, I, I think I saw that tweet, and I remember somebody actually putting a list of games that are none of them below 80, but of course they're going to talk about fucking Redfall. Oh, Redfall and, was a godsend to them. And, 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 and it's like Redfall is a new crackdown, bro. They're not going to let it go at all. They're not going to let it go. So w w without providing much quality games, bro, using the dome to prove that you exist to everyone. So advertising is wrong all of a sudden to these guys. Xbox should not advertise because in, in his eyes, they have no quality games. Mighty Keith, this is y'all boy. This is the, this is the one y'all think is funny. He's never been funny, bro. Let's be honest. Goofy ass. Goofy ass nigga. Stupid ass shit. All right, last one. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, these guys, <laughs> it goes from Xbox has no marketing to now they're marketing just for attention. What the hell is marketing for? <clears throat> they're marketing just to, to, just to say, look at me. What is advertising? You want people to go get your product or purchase your product. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit, man. <sighs> I hate these guys. Damn, Joey having issues tonight. Yeah, Last one. Issues. This y'all boy, this Sean boy right here. Is this my boy? Let me see. Let me take a look at it. I'm far away from my computer. That's what it is. Your boy D. It's D. Batch. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, D. I did. Your D. Your D. <laughs> Listen to me, Playboy. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. You piece of shit. And you can hear me. There's not a problem, bro. You know, when it, every time when it comes to a PlayStation game, I don't know why, why even Nintendo games, for some reason, let's celebrate. I'm not saying that to celebrate. When Spider-Man comes out, 
fair plays. If it's the bugs, if it's good scores, whatever, fair plays. But the way you're going out here, you defend it to like to the till till death. That's that's my point, Sean. That's the problem. But when it comes to <clears> when it's the opposite, when the shoes on the left foot, bro, will the ponies do the same? Bullshit. So don't be surprised when the Xbox guys come after you because you're you're a you're an Xbox guy, mainly PC guy, but you're on an Xbox podcast. Expect people to come after you. If I said some dumb shit like that, you think the Xbox homies won't come after me? Damn right they would. That's Sean, right, Playboy. So you know I deserve to get slapped up. Hell yeah. But this is the thing, Sean. This word, this 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 sentence right here. Many bugs are forced by not mm. following a scripted path. Mm. So in this open world game, you want people to follow a scripted path, right? Bugs are forced. You're saying people are forcing bugs, sir? That's what you're saying. <laughs> I can't believe this, man. This dude def is defending the shit out of Spider-Man 2. Then himself, he posted a damn bug, a glitch, but said he forced it because he was trying to... <laughs> Come on, man. Forcing. What about the people? What about the people who literally live streaming the game? Oh, and oh yeah! All of a sudden, got glitched out. Flint dog just sent me one. He Let did, yeah. Now, he did a double down, guys. Like, he, tri he triple and quadruple down. And, but, but what about what about quality control? I mean, if you know people are gonna deviate from the path that you're I'm giving, Chio Walker just sent me one, not Flint dog. I'm sorry. And people are gonna do whatever they want in the game. The game shouldn't break. Oh, them. they just. Did they delete did. it? Oh, no, no, no. They no, it should be there. Okay, let me show you this. Now, the person that's streaming this, he's a pony, and he's a big YouTuber named Flight. He's a huge YouTuber. He um, he is... Um, You're stuck here, yeah. You got to have strength to do this. It's not moving! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on, bro. Hold on, my arms. My arms, bro. Holy fuck. Bro, bro, why? 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 Who put this in here, bro? This is a whole workout. Because you got to, like, balance the left analog stick, where it's... <laughs> that shit glitched uh -oh. out, right? Uh, it's glitched please. out. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. <laughs> it's only because I worked out earlier. That's why. Yeah, right. Oh, he's forcing it, there. Oh, he's making forcing it, there. He's a pony, right? He's a pony. He's a, you know, he don't say he's a pony. He don't, he don't like Xbox. You know, he's like a, he plays 2K. He's a reaction uh, YouTuber. He he, I, 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 he can be entertaining at times, but as you see, bro, that's, a, well, what is that? No, that's the, that's a damn glitch. No, you're, so the you're, thing you're... is, there's been so many glitches of so many streamers. Watch for Tanga video if you guys haven't seen it. Mm. He has a concoction of, of so many different <laughs> YouTubers. Or streamers, and it's just going buggy. It's crazy at this point. You so, want to know how we how do we shut down these these naysayers when Insomniac eventually sh uh, drops and patch, and you mm -hmm. see the patch notes and it says bug fixes. Mm -hmm. Then you shut the fuck up, <laughs> right? Because so, there's bugs. <laughs> so, uh, D batch, Mighty Keith, and some other piece of shit. All three of you are pieces of shit of the week. Piece of shit of the week. Yeah, man. Four so this is crazy, bro. This Four is crazy screeches. at this point. <laughs> Listen, man, the game has bugs. It is what it is. But the, exactly, it's fine. I'm Every sure the game, game is bugs. fine, man. You know, I'm, I'm sure the game is fine. But you they don't like people, the, they don't, well hold on. See the thing though, Joy, but for D Bass to say it was forced, okay. these bugs are being forced. Are you kidding me, dog? It's okay, man. Shit, the game got bugs. Every game has them, right? <laughs> Every game has bugs, if you ask me. For, but for some are worse than expect, others. Some are worse than others. I did not expect D Bash to be to go this hard on the game. Like, he went so wrong? hard, bro. I, I can expect it from a pony. Because ponies attack That's what Xbox. ponies do. Yeah. Ponies attack Xbox because they want to say that Xbox games are not quality and everything is trash. So the bugs 
or like right. normal on an Xbox game. But when it comes to Sony, we attack Sony because it's like your games are not perfect. Look at the bugs. Yep, the so games are not it's, perfect. It's, yeah. So, but but D Bash to go this hard. Well, how do you force a cube? Somebody explain that to me. Listen, this is Mr. Maddie Play. This is Mr. Maddie Plays, uh, uh, Joey. <laughs> He's not mm. necessarily a bot or a pony. Right? He tries to play so, it down the middle. Oh, he's this is he, he's, he's like, yo, I present you, I present to you the strangest bug I've ever experienced in all my years of gaming, playing Spider Man Two as a cube. <laughs> Puss, not enough, that's better. It is funny though. It is <laughs> you funny, said it's though, better. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny though. I'm not gonna Look, bro, funny. Let's be real. Like I said, all games have bugs. Some are worse than others. Man, it's. It is, it is what, it, what is. it is. The game is it's not open perfect. World game. It's open the game world is not game. What do you expect? Right. But it goes back to what I always say. Why is it some games get penalized for having bugs and other games don't? You like Spider-Man that. 2 or or Star Wars Jedi Survivor did not get penalized for having bugs or running like shit, but some other games did. So I just don't understand. I need I need consistency. Oh man. <laughs> That's what I need. Uh, somebody said that's a, uh, a need. Uh, somebody said something about coffee and sugar, and then I remember sugar cubes. So there you go. That's sugar cubes in the game. <laughs> yeah, man. So, all right, guys. Uh, one more quick Spider Man topic. I remember. I remember when there were you old YouTubers used to make just fun and laugh about glitches like that. It was just fun. Nobody cared. Like, oh look, look at the glitch. <laughs> I laughed. Now it's a but now it's console ammo, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it's what it crazy. Is now. Bro. Yeah, that's what it is now. I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, all right, let me see. It is super chats. Adele Abdel would member for five months. King David was right all along. Sony's dying. Ain't no PS6 coming. They're gonna sell to Apple and port the last of us two remakes for 150 <laughs> ponies <Ooh>. eating <even> TTS. <laughs> Talk that shit, bro. Carl Weeb with the 10, 10 million plays star for you. Phil said Game Pass is 15% of Xbox games and service revenue. Assume 15% of the 10 million is Game Pass. That's 8.5 million sales. 75% mm. of 8.5 million is PC. That's 6.375 million on PC. 25% of sales on Xbox. So it's 2.12 million uh, on, on Xbox. Goodness, boy, you a smart dude, man. You throwing numbers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but that makes sense, though, what you just I, said. I, I, assuming that those 10 million are correct, but okay. Like yeah. yeah, I mean, what we knew knew like the majority sold on PC. That's fine, and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> Mark twenty sixty eight with the two FD comebacks. <laughs> uh, damn! <laughs> Told you, man. These Xbox guys don't be playing, bro. They don't want to hear that shit. Don't don't start off with sentence why I'm an Xbox guy, but I I, I want a a quality game. Uh, <laughs> No, no, no. When D Bash talk about quality a game, he's just talking about movie cinematics. Mm. Listen to his what he's saying. And compared to an Xbox game, he's really he's asking for a movie. Yep. That's all it is. Ray Ray, remember for three months. Ray Ray killed D on Twitter in a video today. D is not one of us. He is not an Xbox guy. Keep him away from Xbox. D don't even rock out with D don't even follow me, bro. I don't really rock out with him like that. A lot so of I don't people give a like... fuck. <laughs> Robert Jr. with the two. Xbox Series X barely had any games. I still bought it uh, from AD, from Ad. What's AD? Um, uh, okay. Y'all don't know shit. It's I'm, I'm guessing, guy, what I'm is guessing, up, brother? How you doing, man? Thank you for becoming a member. Marketing and things. He bought it for because of an ad, maybe. Oh, ad. Okay. Lord Star Killer with the two. These ponies take on Spider Man 2 is in line for POS of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should be making that a uh, list. Um, yeah, so I'm asked the members, you know, ask some of y'all opinions on the list. Anthony Davis. <laughs> he was talking about no damn Anthony Davis. <laughs> um, so yeah, w- one more quick Spider-Man topic before we go to do you give a shit. Oh, this pen. I need to get a new a better pen here, man. So Spider-Man 2 sold uh 2.5 million, even though this is really like a do you give a shit topic. 2.5 million in 24 hours. Uh that's that's pretty impressive, right, fellas? That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty good, The number also includes pre-orders and bundle bundle sales. What you think okay. about that, Sean? That's fantastic. It's That's great, good. right? That's great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these ponies can't read, dude. 
Yeah, I mean, look, man, the game is selling great. I mean, uh, we can't hate on it, right? Don't nobody give a fuck. Come on, now, Sean. Nah, Sean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm not too I mean, far I mean, from my computer. <laughs> It, it, dude, I'm not gonna hate. They're doing well. Spider Man's doing well. That's it. That's why. Well, listen, bro. Listen. Is this a Spider Man, bro? Spider Man. Of course. My 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 kid when he was younger, every superhero was Spider Man. Everybody, yeah. like it doesn't matter who it was on the screen. He said Spider Man. So what? Do, come on. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, no, it's not only bundle sales, but it's like bundle sales is included. There's a pony in here. So what are you gonna say that they sold two million consoles because of the bundles now? Yeah. So no man, it's just it's it, it's doing well. Move Shout on. out and listen, listen, man. Congratulations to uh, Insomniac yeah. and PlayStation. <laughs> Spider Man said that's terrible. <laughs> Spider Man. Shout out to all the Cubans. <laughs> now you got a superhero. Yeah, man. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, that was, that was a short little topic. I could have kept that for do you give a shit. It, it, but speaking it, of do you can't give talk. a shit, Joy. Joy, but speaking of do you give a shit, Joy. Yeah. Let's go. My man. It is time for Do You Give a Shit Gaming News. This is the last 30 minutes of the show, and Sean got to go. He had to get up in three hours, man. Sean, thank you, yeah, bro, for man, stopping man. by. Awesome show. Shout out to the 800 plus still here, rocking out with us. Um, this Damn, week, man. Wednesday, I normally do a TTMS, but the Xbox partner showcase is uh, at the same time, so I'll stream that instead of that shit. So we'll see how it goes, but shout- salute to you guys in the chat, man. Keep TTSing all day, every day. I love it. Absolutely love it. Who knows next week, this week, TTS this Friday, 1 p.m. dirt. Are we still on it? 1 p.m. Yes, this sir. Friday. Yes sir. yes, sir. Hopefully some more negative news for PlayStation so, so we can talk that shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so Sean, like, like before you leave though, uh Clute just sent me the a website called Noisy Pixel. They <laughs> they're the ones that gave Spider Man is 70. That brought the score down. I back sent that 70, yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The virus failed us. We need one more. We need one book. more. <laughs> uh, take care, player. Be safe. Oh, no, and I'll, I'll catch you guys this week. Have a good one, brother. You yeah. pieces of shit. Take care, Sean. All right, hey, 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 Sean. Sean, Sean. Sean. Don't, do Don't get out of here, bro. Yeah, Sean. Do hey, Army, I was about to ask you if you okay. died. Like, okay. you're too quiet. Okay. No, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time for Do You Give a Shit. So let's go ahead and break it down so we can go ahead and get out of here. Listen, I love all my homies, the Iron Lords, and 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 and, and like living split screen. But I'm not trying to do no five hour podcast. <laughs> I'm not trying to do no five hour podcast. Well, anyway, let's go ahead. Hey, so Forza Motorsport. I'm sorry, let me change that. Forza Horizon Five has now been played by more than 34 million players. Yo, yeah, man. Yeah, that's. Some I good think shit. that that little bump extra that I got, I think, it because people played motorsport and they're like, "Man, I love uh, Horizon better," and they went back. Yeah, yeah, but, you <laughs> but know, dude, it's like, that's a successful game. What are you gonna talk shit about it too, Paul? Very successful. Hey, so majority of Alan Way two codes giving to media is for PC, but Thomas Puha, that's I believe that's his name. He had came out and said, "Don't worry, console players. The console versions are going to be good." Because people were concerned, like, "Why are people giving that shit to PC?" Yeah, there, there was a little know. rumor out there that the game might be thirty frames, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. What we like we talked about Spider Man already. Hey, so Final Fantasy creator, I kind of Harnobu, that dude Gucci. Has appeared at Final Fantasy 14 Fan Fest <laughs> playing the game with a custom Xbox controller. How about that one? Yeah, how about that's that? Actually, one? That's actually smart of what he did. Like, yeah, he's not gonna play, he doesn't like it to play on a, on a keyboard or mouse, but he put a keyboard attachment to, to an Xbox controller. I'm like, that's kind of smart. We can yeah, actually man. play, like, we can play games with a keyboard with the attack. And it made me think, like, dude, that's that's actually smart. It's smart. <laughs> Dut. So yeah, man, but um yeah, so it's pretty good stuff. (laughs) 
Oh, shit. Joey, can you hear me? All I can see is spider webs in your mouth. Joey, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Phyllis. Joey! Yeah! I'm, I'm a little disappointed. What? What'd you say? I'm a little disappointed. For what? Because MJ look like Ellen DeGeneres. And Spider-Man too. She she look like Ellen. I'm disappointed, like Joey. Ellen. Fuck you. Hey, Joey. What? I'm sad. It's not what fair. Now? What? What are you sad about? You got Spider-Man. Yeah, Xbox is kicking ass and people keep on leaving PlayStation. <laughs> Like yours, we can't. <laughs> <too. laughs> hey man, not Ellen. Hey MJ, this is MJ that like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> you might get sued for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh man. Uh, so inside the game, and uh, said that a second Far Cry game is in development, and it's an extract-based yeah. multiplayer shooter. Completely separate yeah. from Far Cry Seven. Yeah, I don't know. What you what? think? Uh, I don't know. It's like Ubisoft is trying everything to get that Fortnite game. You understand? Yeah, like bro, they want that's, that. That's hitting. It is, but it, 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 I don't know, man. It's like hey, George, stop Far Cry. Me. Really? No, I'm not hating. I'm worried because they might. If they keep doing these dumb shits. Tencent is going to take over from the co- for the company or something like that, and then we're not going to have yeah. yourself again. Hey, uh, I mentioned that people can fly again and confirm they're working with Xbox on a game it's called Project Maverick. So, that's mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. most content, bro. Hey, Jonas, the dad, remember for seven months? Yeah, yeah, Starfield 7. I mean, Starfield 7 has bugs, not pilot. Spider Man 2, 10 out of 10. Minor bugs means nothing, usually into his vids, but damn. <laughs> Oh, young, yeah, 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 young, yeah, yeah. And, you know, these guys are ponies, man. They're ponies. The dude Captain, that sounds oh. like he's constantly falling asleep. Young, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. Do we sound like that? Hey, oh, everybody. Dude, he young, yeah. How you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah young, man. yeah. Oh, that dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, young, oh, yeah. yeah. Captain oh, Fultz yeah. with the five. These ponies rear ends need, must be... <laughs> These ponies yes. rear ends must be jealous of them. Oh my god, their mouths because all the delusional crap that comes out of them. Oh my goodness, <laughs> damn, that was brutal. <laughs> uh, shout out to you, Spartan 661 with the 10. Spider Man is an open world sandbox uh game that is in a linear world that has bugs on a game about a bug. Bing it, <laughs> and uh, it was that word. I could, I, I, it was that word. You know, I can't read. Arachnid. Arachnid. Arachnophobia. I love that movie. Game that most people are scared of. Sony game players are scared of bugs. And Arachnid isn't a bug. There you go. Thank you for the lesson. Because I couldn't even pronounce Arachnid. I'm slow. Sapo with the tools. Show <laughs> Reginald on life support real quick, Dirt. Yeah, I got it. You know, it's so loud. <laughs> You got you, you got Reggie fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was doing that on purpose that time. I the mumbling was on purpose that time. Jay Rimber with the two. Joey, where's your podcast, you POS? That's a valid question, Jay Rimber. I work 12 hours a day and I got little time for that. However, I was thinking about certain things a few days ago. Maybe I could push something, do something. Something. Let's see where it something. goes. Something. Something. Hey, so it looks like the uh like a for female protagonist will uh will be in Assassin's Creed Red. Is that a a big Wait. Assassin's Creed or Assassin's Creed ain't the Asian one? Yeah, is that one the Japanese one? I believe. Okay. Yeah, it's a female. It's <laughs> they fine. say pull the plug. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> they say pull the plug on Reggie. Um. I gotta see it first to see. I mean, I don't. Mirage did not caught my attention, so I don't know. Yeah, I have. I, I don't know why I booted it up the other day. 
I said, I'm not going to play this uh-huh. right now, so I stopped it. Um, so we mentioned layoffs are quietly happening at PlayStation's visual art uh, studio. So hope those people get mm-hmm. back on their feet. We also mentioned the uh, Xbox and PlayStation both had their the Las Vegas Spear. Um, yeah. I think Xbox had it on Friday. PlayStation was advertising Spider-Man on Saturday. Wasn't that a huge coincidence? Like, right. The day after, the day after they, like, Spider-Man, that Xbox first, I don't know. It was like, how did they time it, though? Like, how did they figure it out? Yeah, I don't know. But listen, apparently it's 40, I'm um, 400, 400 grand. a day. A day? A day, bro, for that advertising. Listen, that's why they did it for one day. <laughs> oh, well, man. They spent 70 billion, so yeah, you could do it like for two. Nah, nah. That's too much. God damn. <laughs> yeah, man. So 343 industry job listings that are for the next generation of Halo projects and experiences. Um, experience. So they're hiring. They say, hey, yo, hey, yo, uh, Zinc, listen to this. Experience working with Unreal Engine tools. Oh, God. Zinc, <laughs> like that. Here Zinc, comes the Here goes other Zinc. Zinc said, Here I don't care the what it said. They're not going to Unreal Engine. <laughs> But Halo, man, man that game feels f- great right now, bro. The oh, game's amazing. Fantastic. I love it. Y'all mentioned this earlier, but Nintendo of America President Doug Bowser says he has a great relationship with Microsoft. Um, but that doesn't mean they're about to do something out of the ordinary. They just have a great relationship. I, I, I look, I, the way I got it was like Doug Bowser look at the people talk, asking him about that. He's like, dude, I don't give a fuck with Nintendo. Take <laughs> your shit. <laughs> Um, so uh, now that Spider Man 2 was out, Insomniac John Paquette uh says a Venom spinoff. He said mm, he'll listen to the fans. Oh, shit, another Spider Man game coming, y'all! Another damn Spider Man game coming. Obsidian director, design director Josh Sawyer, of course, the guy that made Pentiment, <laughs> said he'll like to he like to make Pillars of Eternity 3 if he could secure a budget similar to that of Baldur's Gate. Is that a big budget? I guess it is. I, I don't know. He, and, and that tweet, he said $100 million. Yeah, in that same tweet, he said that. But it's interesting that uh, uh, Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2 were crowdfunded, and there was not nearly as close to be like $50 million. It was like $25 million to 30 Yeah. So if you give him an Obsidian $100 million, though, I wonder what kind of experience they will come up with. That'll I don't know. It's cool. a good question. Sir X Man with the two Ubisoft doing everything but making the Splinter Cell facts, bro. Yeah, it's true, man. Yeah, uh, Splinter Cell was that game, bro. <sighs> That's the truth. UK charts for September 2023. PlayStation uh five was up 24% month on month. Okay. Xbox Series X and S is up 136% month on month. Obviously, Starfield mm-hmm. move. Hey, listen, that you know what? Where that guy at? Because well, he, he Starfield did move consoles. <laughs> it was up okay, yeah. 136% month to month. I'm, I'm not going to give it all to Starfield. Uh, UK and Europe are big on racing. So I think more Forza actually helped in those numbers too, though. Forza didn't come out to I told you, POS. I'm going to shut the fuck up, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Sony patents, earbuds, storing, PlayStation 5. They always got. What's up with all this hardware they got this generation, bro? Some more earbuds. That's a waste of time. That's a waste of money. Like everybody makes earbuds. Every company makes one. Why would you do one? Hey, so check this out, Joy. I don't know if y'all read this, but uh, you will be able to finally pause cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid Collection. But it's a cat. Huh? In Ten seconds. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You can pause a cutscene in Metal Gear Solid Collection, but it takes 10 seconds. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, wait, you gotta repeat, you gotta repeat that, man. I'm, I'm still confused. Uh, what? What does that mean? Metal Gear Solid. Uh-huh. <laughs> Master Collection, you know, the ones that comes out this month with uh-huh. one, two, and three. Uh-huh. You can pause um the cutscenes, but it takes 10 seconds. What do you mean it takes 10 seconds? You press the button, count 10 Mississippis, and then? Yes. 10-second delays? Yes. Oh, my God. You're joking me. 
No, I oh. see you. I I put it in the uh in the damn DM right now. So you gotta oh, pause. You, you gotta press the pause button right when the scene starts. Yes, I put it in the DM right now. <laughs> they said it takes ten seconds. Oh my god, kind of dumb shit is that? Hey man, it is what it is, brother. All right, we got a few more that we're about to go ahead and get out of here. PS5 Slim officially launches, guys, November 10th. November 10th. Are you guys excited about that? Uh, Don't nobody give a fuck. Come on, man. Um, I feel like they saved the dropping of a Slim because they think that's going to be like another boost in sales or something. It's going to help. It's going to help because... um, well, I don't Ain't it more expensive? Like the, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Well, the digital one is more expensive. See, because usually yeah, the well, slims are usually cheaper, but this time it's more expensive. So we'll see. I ain't, I, I ain't buying a PlayStation until it's in the bargain bin. I'm not even joking. <laughs> hey, Zen Studios has become the latest studio owned by Embracer to be hit with layoffs. 32 employees have reportedly lost their job. Damn. Somebody must send them a lifeboat. Uh yes, rough out there. Hey, Burt Young, you know the guy to play Paulie in the Rocky movies, where he passed yeah, away. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yep. Microsoft is hiring a content product manager for Xbox Game Pass. Joey. Hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought Sarah Bond was in charge of doing that in her job description. So if maybe looking she for about to else, run Activision Blizzard. Uh, exactly. Exactly. I was, if they're looking for somebody else, that means she's or she's going up in position, or she's gonna do something else. So that's interesting. Yep. So we'll see. A hey, Halo Infinite moved to from 84th to 6th on the top or Steam top sellers Ooh. chart by revenue. Yo, season five, it seems to be a hit. And the last time Halo Infinite had this many Steam players was in April of 2022, five months after Ooh. its release. Ooh, Listen, man, I said this the other day. This is what PlayStation wants. I'm not picking on PlayStation, but they want this games as a service. A game that came out in 2021, they drop some new content, engagement immediately goes up. I Meaning people spending more money on, you know, just like Sea of Thieves. That game came out in 2018 and still selling pretty good right now. Engagement is pretty solid on PC. So that's what PlayStation wants. That's what Jim Ryan wants, man. He wants that. Engaged because look, Spider Man 2. I saw somebody 100% it already, platinum it. Yeah, this shit came out two days ago, (laughs) right? I want to see somebody how long it takes somebody to 100% Starfield. I'm sure some people have done it already. This, yeah, didn't someone already do it? Yeah, somebody, but it wasn't in two days. No, I know, I I think somebody, no, 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 I think somebody did it though. Did they do that? Because the far as I understand, they just like. They scanned all the planets. That's what they did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? But I did see by you. I, I, I thought I saw somebody 100% of it, though. The All the missions? It's a big GD, yeah, but I'm sure I'm sure he ain't doing it in two days. Hell no. If he did, I'm sure he called off of work those two days and said, nah, for if he did, 48 if he did that, in, <laughs> If he did that in two days, I mean, he hacked the game because it's impossible. Yeah. That the game, amount of yeah. hours one mission Bro, has, like 35 hours a mission. I saw, I saw the homie um, Nero... He had put something. He said he he like landed on a random planet, and he went to this building where everybody was dead. And he he like listened to some tapes and stuff and found out it was these aliens that killed everybody. Then of course they tried to kill him too. And he was like, it was fire. He said it was just a random planet. It was a dope ass little story on a random planet, bro. I said that sound fire, man. It's not feel as fire, bro. Yeah, but yeah, but back to what you were saying with the. Uh... Spider Man just being done in like two days. I don't understand. Like, all right, remember when they first had the first trailer and it was first was Spider Man, but then you saw Miles Morales and they were fighting together. Then Venom came out, and people got hyped, mm-hmm. and it was funny. Everybody guessed and assumed, oh man, it might be co op in the game, yada yada. And turn out, no, they're not co op. You just do Grand Theft Auto style, switch between one character and another. Now, you mean to tell me that the great, powerful PS5 and all the innovation. At not uh, insomniac, nobody thought of hey, why don't you do a co op with the Spider Man thing? Have a co op mode, you know what? To be fair, RB, I understand because why that game doesn't player. have co op because it got too many set pieces, bro. That sounds <laughs> like a QTE. personal problem. So, too much QTE, <laughs> too many set pieces. Hey, yo, this is what I want to show you guys this pony platinum 
uh, Spider-Man. He said, pretty easy platinum. So he platinum it, oh, right? That's Mudahar. Isn't that Mudahar? Yeah. Any yeah, opponent? Mudahar. He was talking shit about the game. He said, no. He's not a He's actually quite neutral. He no, he's not. Oh, so he got 820 yeah, he, what, Watch, watch his oh, video. Okay. He said the game is pretty mid. The game is pretty mid. Oh, okay. So he platinum in two days. <laughs> so this know? guy said already 100% the game after three days. Now they wait for tw- for Wolverine. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, okay. I thought I thought he was a pony. Um, but Squidward called him a clown, so I'm not sure. Hmm. So, I got a few more. Uh, Phil Spencer said he's all in when it comes to Activision Blizzard Studios revisiting um, OIP. Phil yeah, said that's a dumb- they want to do. Hey, listen, listen, man. We can talk so, about it. To me, that's a double-edged sword because he's saying it. Mm-hmm. People are hyped because he said it, but at the same time, the studios may not care about it mm-hmm. because they want to right. do whatever they want to do instead of the things that we wish they did, like banjo. Well, I mean, hold on, Joey. Like, I'm sure yeah. that the nine studios that are working on one game would rather make their own game. <laughs> that Maybe. is true, but. Are they all gonna do new IPs or just well, what? We well, at the very, I mean, either, at the way. very least, uh, either way, either way, Toys for right. Bob and uh, what's the other three that they they made something else before, but they made them do Call High of Duty. Moon. There's High Moon, Toys for Bob. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, Infinity Ward, uh, Treyarch. No, those Raven. are the big Call of Duty ones. I'm talking about the smaller ones that support them. Oh, the smaller ones. Yeah, uh, High Moon, well, they... Toys for Bob. Where's the other one? Fuck. Hold on. They they closed that. Uh, Trey R, we got Toys for Bob, we got B's, uh, B Knox, yeah, B Knox, yeah, my 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 it is. these are Xbox first party suitors. Y- y'all supposed to know this. shit. Y'all, supposed to, I'm disappointed. You look, you, this you probably turned into a dark man now because I'm know. disappointed. This is the Xbox first party studios. Y'all supposed to know every single one. This turned into a dark man, damn it. <laughs> they said, Snipe Joy, I got him out of here. How do you know? These are Xbox first party studios now. They're supposed to know these things. I'll bring Joy back. Joy, how you doing? You a POS. You looked at it on the list too. R and B, how you doing, buddy? Okay. You POS. Devin, hey, hey man, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my know. thing is, my thing is, nobody can tell me that those studios that were previously making like Crash Bandicoot, then they said, hey, you're working on helping well the Modern Warfare Two, when mm-hmm. it got pushed to make. Nobody can tell me those smaller studios would rather be working on something else. Maybe, maybe, yeah, not. maybe they're comfortable, you know. Maybe, but what, granted, what, that's the thing that scares me. Like, what if, what if they say, "Nah, man, we want to do COD." Oh my like, shit! That's 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 cool, but I'll somebody in there I know wants to make something else besides Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure some of the people in the main studios want to make something other Call, Call of Duty. I know they're they're yeah, making I'll, other studios in new locations. All I'm saying is, I know the people in those studios want to make something else, and I'm glad Phil Spencer's gonna I, give them the space to make it. Y'all here? Who was sure. Edward? Who was Edward? Huh? Hey, man, why are you high, high Edward? Hold on. Uh, all I know is I'm 100 percent Bro, sure. hold on, but bring back Edward. He ain't saying that wrong. What he said. And Edward is not a, a pony either. Bring him yeah, back, bro. Bring him back, bro. Look, I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. somebody like Sledgehammer, Infinity War, Raven, they're tired of doing Call of Duty. I could I could, I can tell that for sure. I got it. I, I unhit him. Yeah, I, I don't know why you why you why you hear them out here. But even no, even I, though you wouldn't tell them to stop making it all together, I'm pretty sure to say, hey, you want to make another studio somewhere else? And people, you know, some people want to leave, some people want to stay. That's cool. But stopping them all together, I no, I don't think so. Yeah. So, all right, I've um, got a few more guys. We can go ahead and get out of here because I'm hungry, man. I ain't nothing all day, man. Yes, I am. Hungry. You know what? So, Halo Infinite Steam c- concurrent player count. Uh, got past eighteen thousand. Um, maybe it got up further than that. I don't know, but say that's the highest just, since March. But I mentioned that March of twenty twenty two. I think just Gordon yesterday actually said like, yes, it's sixteen around twenty on on Steam, but it's, this is like a uh, concurrent like oh oh on Xbox. It's like around forty to sixty always. Yeah, bro. The game is dope, bro. The game is fire, man. I don't give a damn what nobody said. That shit is fire. Um, it's getting better. Man. And that new like cover. Like the new cover for the game with the with the skull with the shit in there. Um, is that Master Chief helmet? I don't know what it, but it looks awesome, bro. 
What cover? What are you talking about? It's like like the Halo Infinite. Oh, the picture now. Yeah, it's the like picture the picture. Oh, the picture. That's 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 an armor. That, 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 that's, that's a, a flood. With the, yeah, I saw somebody else had the armor. That looks fire, it, bro. Yeah, it's infected with the flood. That's what it is. Yeah. Yep. That shit looks dope as hell. Infected with the flood. Yeah, that looked dope, bro. Look dope. Hey, so Dead Space remake is coming to Xbox Game Pass. Dope game, man. Dope game. I like this so much because I'm reading my phone, bro. <laughs> he said, "Why well, I'm always looking down because I'm." On this portion of the show, I, I got all my notes in my phone. <laughs> Why do you think he got the name of the studios? You think he knew that? No, he didn't. <laughs> of course I What do <laughs> you mean, Joey? I <laughs> you totally go. said B Knox on the top of my uh -huh. head, you POS. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> show some damn respect. Yeah, Spartans with effect. That shit look fire, bro. That's a dope ass cover. Um, yeah, so Dead Space. I listen, I love Dead Space <laughs> remake so much. I went oh, back. Man. And finish part two and part three, which I did not finish in the 360 day. It was so fire, bro. I literally had got achievements 10 years apart. <laughs> that was not that, bro. I'm telling you, first of all, the backwards compatibility is just amazing. But uh, yeah, that game was dope. Dope game. But I also like Callisto Protocol. Wait until that shit is three dollars. It'll be three dollars soon. You should buy it. Oh man. Um turn 10 doubles down on bringing monthly new content. I believe Sports and Motorsports is going to kind of be like a, a game that's a service also, right? Kind of what y'all think. What's wrong with that? Nothing. What, nothing. What, I love it, bro. That's yeah, the yeah. time we live in there. Shit. You get a lot of new content on. coming. Yeah. DMC. Mac, I, I'm sorry. D. McIntosh. You're absolutely right, man. Those games are fire, bro. Part three wasn't as good as the other two, but it was still pretty solid to me. I'm sitting on a bar stool. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone, man. Uh, Starfield, uh, Starfield lead quest designer leads, but that's the to work with word is song, word song. I don't know what the hell that is, but you know, Starfield is done and he's he's out, man. So, shout out to him. Lies hey, Mark, I ain't, huh? hey, Mark, I know what you said. I ain't acting like no pony, man. Come on, you think I don't know how to read Spanish? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's a calapito? Caballito? Yeah. A horse, a pony. Oh, okay, horse. Joe, you have like a calabito. Hold on, calabito. 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 You piece of shit. That's oh, one. Liza P. Liza P. Has sold over one million units worldwide in less of, than a month. So shout out to Liza P. I didn't that even is good. I ain't even hmm. download it, bro, because I know I ain't gonna like it. Is that game on game? game Pass. Yeah, is that another game in Game Pass that sales aren't being hindered? Yep. Hmm, look at I that. Know. I didn't even buy it because I know I ain't gonna like it. <laughs> oh, like how it. dare you! I love the game. Is it? But fire? I'm stuck in a dude. I'm stuck in a fucking clown, bro. L literally a freaking clown. Yeah, it looks good, man. I, I just know I ain't gonna like it. But there's so many games I I still haven't beat. Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Survivor. I still haven't beat Starfield. Uh, I'm about to start Assassin's Creed <laughs> Mirage soon. It's like I ain't gonna play that shit, bro. Like the same way I did with uh Wulong. Downloaded. It. I actually like. Oh it. no. The first I finished boss, the first. I finished the, the first boss and I said I'm done. I'm not gonna. The first boss it. is an asshole, man. His his first form was pretty easy. The second form, I was like, what is this? I beat the first boss and like, uh, if this is the first boss, oh hell no. I was. I, was I, I almost it. rage quit that game. I, I almost threw my damn controller. I was getting so mad at that the first boss. Kick my ass. I was like, you know, f this game, bro. I'm done. Like I tried to play uh, the co-op and and the homies couldn't get past the first boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh, crazy. I just it's the first boss, it. man. So, X Man with the two Spider One and done again. I'm playing Starfield. Yeah, Starfield is fire, man. As um, you should. Shout out to Two Man again, bro, for um having a copy of Spider Man for me. I downloaded. I haven't played it yet. I'll definitely play it soon. Yeah, I know that means get good dirt, but I don't know. I, I just <laughs> I just rather play Two K. <laughs> and Two K is pissing me. You know what? I got to be real. 2K, my player, I never usually play it that much, but this year I tried to play it a little bit. That is the most blatant pay-to-win game there is. I love 2K gameplay. I, I I just like playing the regular season like we did back in the early 2000s and the 90s. You know, well, I just like getting my pistols well, like, and playing the season well, because that my player is the most blatant pay-to-win. Yeah, to so you bro, play online? What do you do? Bro, I just play this play the computer now. But it's like I when I, I was playing my player, it's so good, but it's such a bro. 
listen, I bought the $100 edition. I said, I'm, I'm going to need this extra VC. My mm -hmm. first time playing, it's like, damn, I'm like a 76, 77. Everybody else like in their 90s. I'm like, y'all must have been spending some money on this shit. And then it's like, you just can't really compete with these guys. I was, I was like, I'm trying to hang with them, but they're so much stronger than me. <laughs> Man, it, it <laughs> I was like, bro, if, if you don't spend money in that game, you 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 effed up. It's over Flat over out. Over. Unless you're just gonna put in a whole bunch of hours. So but I love the see like Ray Ray said he a 94. I'm like a 78. Dude, I, I played play, this. I played play the computer. I play the season, my pistons against the computer. Yeah. That's that's what I keep it for. That's what that's what I do. Look, I play FIFA and I don't I don't I don't play the ultimate team or any of that shit because it's just money. Yeah, like, no, man, I just play the career, the career, and that's it. I'm good with that. Bro, but they so smart the way they do it, man. I know, I know. Because it's the they guy make just you feel like you got to spend money. You like, can't walk around yes, that dude do. with brown shirt. <laughs> you can't walk around with this shit. People are like, oh, this dude trash. <laughs> you can't be on my team. You got on that dude with brown shirt. I don't care what <laughs> your ranking is. I'm telling you, man. It's like, nah, forget it, bro. So, anyway. <laughs> I spent, brother. I got the hundred dollar edition. And I found myself already. I spent an extra twenty dollars, and I'm still only at seventy eight. I ain't spending no more money, man. I ain't nah, bro. I ain't spending no more money, man. So, all right, guys, we are about to get out of here. Thank you so much for rocking out with us. Um, I appreciate you. It's a great time. The show is Wednesday. Sean said he's going to stream it. Um, the partner showcase. So. That's all. That's it, y'all. What y'all got going on, Joey? Um, Joey I'm hungry like order. I am. I'm hungry as shit. Yeah, I'm hungry. Thanks, I'm, thanks. I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm actually checking the, the app to see what to order because you know, like half hour ago, I got the chat like, "Hey, when are you gonna order food?" I'm like, hold on. So, chat, tell me, give me, give me suggestion. Popeyes today or Chinese food? Uh, How about them me. juggle grapes? Pos. <laughs> Hey, they're great. Chinese are always good though. I know hey, it's a it's a wing place here in Michigan called DWC Detroit Wing Company. Oh, they kill wing stop, in my opinion. They beautiful. There you go. The first one who said I met Kamar. Chinese, Chinese is the shit, is. bro. But but yeah, every yeah, Chinese yeah. place is not equal, bro. There's some Chinese places. I, I, I got I got a spot over here that I like. So yeah. See, okay. it's you a good Chinese. one by my there house too. Yeah. Chicken J Chinese food. That's what it is, baby. baby. Chinese is shit, bro. You can't. Hey, I love some damn Chinese food though. I love yeah. Chinese yeah. more than soul food, bro. Man, you know, I'm, I'm an N word. I'm gonna you know. get some orange chicken, bro. Let's go. Hey, I am a nigga. I prefer <laughs> Chinese food over some soul food, bro. I'm telling oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm ready to get up out of here, dirt. I, hey, I'm John Gray, you stay <laughs> okay. Uh, Devin, I'll see you later, bro. Thanks for stopping. By. Hey, hey, yo, John Gray, man, nobody like Domino's pizza. That's your trash. Yo, I saw a list and they put in like an A, like a tier and it was Domino Pixels there. I'm like, what the hell? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm eating ice cream hey, Mark, and a magic I, shell. Hey, Mark. Orange chicken yes, is I, shit, bro. Hell yeah. So, all right, y'all. Let's get out of here, man. Devin, what, what you got going on, bro? Broccoli with no, not much, man. Just going to get some food. Might play the game a little bit. About it. Bro, I'm hungry. And they talking about crab ragoon and beef and broccoli. You're Don't seeing you? it, right? I'm seeing yeah, it. Yeah, bro, I'm hungry as <laughs> shit. I'm about to go, oh, man. man. I'm about to go to the Chinese place by my crib, bro. Damn, Yo, so I'm, beef I'm and broccoli. That's, good, man. that's what I just read. I'm like, hold on. Let me check. It's 8 o'clock. I don't want to eat too late, but shit. <laughs> but it's 7 for me right now, so we're good. Oh, see, that's perfect. It's 8 for me. Uh, RB, what you got going on? I am jumping full bore into the haunting event at Call of Duty, newest Microsoft uh, IP. <laughs> you damn and right it done, is. They've done mm -hmm. a really good job. Uh, it's Halloween, so it's spooky time. They got all these cool skins in here. They got Skeletor. They got freaking Lilith from Diablo. They got the Butcher from the original Diablo. They got um, uh, 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 Spawn and other characters from there. Uh, bro, it's so chaotic playing on Shipment. I was literally gunning one guy and one dude in a pumpkin was running with a chainsaw the other way. It was it was it's it's amazing, man. Hey, and this guy better be African American to say some shit like this. What? What you say? He said, "Go get some fried chicken." You better be black to say some racist <laughs> shit like that. Hey, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, you know what, dude? I wouldn't be offended by that either, bro. Fried chicken is actually 
Who, Bro, I who love this shit. Who, who right. don't like fried thing. chicken? That's the thing. Like, hey, who's gonna who get don't like fried like, chicken? Go get fried chicken. I'll say, where is it? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who don't like fried chicken? <laughs> I swear to God. All right, uh, all right, R&B. Thank you. You're right. Uh, Call of Duty first party. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Isn't that shit crazy, y'all? Call of Duty is actually that first shit's... party. I, I, I still like we 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 sit here and talk about it, but I don't think it has clicked yet. It still hasn't clicked yet. Like some somebody's gonna wake up one day, like a month or two from now, and be like, "Holy shit!" Exactly. That's a <laughs> that Xbox hasn't happened game. yet. That hasn't happened. Yet. It hasn't happened yet. You know, you know when it happened for ponies when when about Bethesda when they saw Starfield. That's when it happened. It mm-hmm. sinked in. They're like, mm-hmm. "Oh shit, that's right. We're not getting this game." It's crazy, bro. That, ha- that hasn't happened yet for ABK. Maybe it'll happen when they put all them uh, those uh, ABK games and Game Pass next On year. Game I don't Pass, know. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ha- and when those quarterly numbers started coming and they're like, well, how much money you make Microsoft? God damn. There mm-hmm. you go. So, <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. Thank here, you man. so much. Fuck. We out of here because I'm hungry. Joey hungry. Let's go. It's time yeah, to arms. leave, guys. It's time to eat. All right. It's time to eat, but thank you. I will talk to you guys. I'll see you guys on Thursday, Dark Man. We got um, you know, TTS on Friday. Might do a video. Depends on what topics are popping. Ah, oh, shit. Hey Reggie. Hey Reggie. Man. <laughs> oh, do you, you only eat hay? You eat grass, right? That's what you do. I'm so damn mad. Oh my god. Well, and I'm sad, Joey. Oh Jim Ryan mad won't at the same time. Joey. Look, 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 one time look. Jim Ryan took his shit in the Tupperware oh, bowl. <laughs> No, you what you 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 telling me you say that he's been sniffing Joey. every day? Yo, oh, I thought it was meatloaf, and I oh, accidentally. No, 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 no! Cut it out! Cut it out! Dude, we're about to eat some food, good food. Uh, oh, man. I love you guys. Get out of here, man! Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. Peace out. Meatloaf had corn in it. Oh, uh, come on, Joey. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.